Hey guys, let me know when you can see me. Let me, um... <laughs> I feel like it might have caught my uh, goofy face I was making before the stream. <laughs> Rip. Welcome, welcome. I'm a bit nervous <laughs> about this about this case because um i feel like god ever since i started this y'all have been talking about this case and it seems to be very divisive for the most part um so we'll see um i think either way i have to play it since um i think i even saw some people in my discord saying like oh you should just watch the anime for it like the anime does it better which is kind of crazy honestly like uh <laughs> That's like the first time I've ever heard that being a thing. The anime did it better. I don't know if it was just because it made it like shorter, but um, I saw some people saying like, oh, just um, watch the anime for it. But I think, yeah, I have to play it regardless. I was like, you know, I'll play it. And also, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, if I, like, if I can't have Ace Attorney at their worst, like, how can I accept them at their best? You know what I mean? Like, I don't deserve the, I don't deserve Ace Attorney at its best. I might like it anyways. I think there were some people who liked it. I think Blaze said that they liked it, or they didn't really mind it. And there was a few other people in the, uh, in the chat who said they liked it too. <laughs> and thanks guys. Happy birthday. Oh, what a beautiful birthday it is. It actually is my mom's birthday today, funnily enough. Okay, let me, um... I guess start it up and we'll see how this, uh, how this goes. <laughs> My 4,900... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show! This seems like a Mikado voice. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight! Okay. That's a big mouth. You gonna die during a show? Mm. Oh yeah, this is very Mikado. <laughs> voice coded. The world's greatest magician, the one, the only! Oh, Maximilian Galactica! Oh my god, it's giving Maximilian Pegasus. I hope they don't die! <laughs> they probably will, though. Okay. Uh... It. <laughs> okay, and he was never seen again. <laughs> the end. Big Barry, oh, Barry Big Circus, Circus Entrance. Was that it? Did he just like want a sewer slide or something? Or okay, no, I guess, <laughs> I guess it makes sense. We're just taking Pearl out since you know her mom's all evil and shit. So it's like have to, have to, you know, get her to cheer up a little bit. See this Mikado guy <laughs> do some flips. Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet! Oh. Thank you, Drago Nugget. Safe scumming is recommended for this case. <laughs> Just standing there emoji. <laughs> we'll see ya! Oh god, that, that does kind of scare me a little bit. <laughs> Hot Mikado. Damn, you guys! You guys! You guys are doing some passive-aggressive comments to Mikado. Mikado's in the background like, I heard that! I'm hot too, damn it! I haven't even caught my breath yet! <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? Oh, that's cute, though. I'm glad we're taking care of Pearl right now. It was great! There was a dancing bear who was totally doing that against his will and is probably being tortured in the back room right now. She doesn't need to know that part. She doesn't need to know that part. And a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire! And an elephant that rode a giant ball! Oh, these poor animals. Not to mention that guy who flew through the air! Oh, he was so cute! Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What, Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A uh, ma magician? <laughs> She's so like, she has no idea what like the world is in there. Like what's in the world in general. I kind of forgot about that. She didn't even know what a train was. Now a magician. Uh, Mr. Nick. Oh, what is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? No, that shit's fake. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. I guess it could be real in this universe, considering, yeah, the channeling thing is, uh, there. There was Freddy Fazbear! <laughs> that was the bear! <laughs> that they were using! That is so true. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. Aw, oh, she's so cute. I'm glad we're gonna have Pearl tagging along with us now. I braved the winter cold and took Pearl to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Karain Village. And it was during that trying time that I met Pearls. 
Uh, Relicle and your little babysitter. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it. Anna's returning to her normal self. She's probably happy she actually gets to, like, <laughs> I don't know, live a real life now? Her mom was, like, so oppressive. She's like, wow, I get to leave the house now? Ah, it's time to go. I see a lot of y'all hating on this music, too. <laughs> this song equals PTSD, Jesus. <laughs> Damn, people really do, <laughs> do do be hating this case. Oh, just got here for the digital circus vid. <laughs> Perfect timing. And thank you, uh, depressed Kinjo. No, Kinjo, why are you depressed, bestie? How's your day been? Pretty good so far. I woke up, like, super duper late. <laughs> I, like, woke up and I was like, dang, I'm gonna go straight to the stream. And thank you, uh, Shadow Hour Midnight. Warning, be prepared for some age differences later. Oh, yikes. Is that why people, uh, is that why people, uh, hate this? <laughs> hate this chapter? That, that makes sense. And thank you, uh, for your 20th super. That's cool. That's cool that YouTube keeps up with it, too. And they gave you the little animation as well. Ah, it's time to go. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Nobody better be creeping on my girl pearls. I will be pissed. Pearls, you remember the train? Of course I did! But I don't really understand what everybody means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by and help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. I guess I could see the sun getting on your nerves if it's like played on a loop for a uh, super long time. You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Um, maybe. I'm glad you get to spend your New Year's with your special girl. She's still, still on that with your special someone. Pearly, look, it's time to go. It's like, she's not corrected her though, so I'm like, do you have a little crush, Maya? Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. She knows she can't compete with Edgeworth though. Come on, let's be real, Maya. It's time to get out of the Lulu Land. Let's go. It's time for you to start hitting on Francesca. Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. I remember last New Year's with Edgy. I miss him. Writing Co. Offices. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Yay. Beep. Hello, this is Write Co. In Law. Nick, it's terrible! Ah, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, somebody just got murdered. You have to turn on the TV. The TV. Now let's check in at the scene. Huh? God, I hope it's not Mikado Voice who died. What was his name? Max Galactica? Maximilian Pegasus? <laughs> That's who he reminds me of. Thank you. We're here at the Very Big Circus. Oh, it's like very big, but very big. The Very Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has, has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very, I mean, the Very Big Circus. Ah, oh, thank you, Phoenix, for pointing that out. That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Arrested who? No, not Max! Okay, he's gonna be our client, I guess. Max! Oh god, he's so beshonen and cute! They arrested Max Galactica! No, not Max! Maximilian Galactica, the hottest man to ever brace Japanifornia. Popular magician who can fly through the sky. Oh my god, look at those heels too. Okay, Slay. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. He do be kind of Slay, so I feel like he's guilty. All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Oh, what? <laughs> She's already just like, <laughs> we picked up this case, I've already chosen it for you. See you there. You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of think this guy did it though. Okay, well, I guess that's that then. He do be kind of slay. And that's why I think he's guilty. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest? She's such a fangirl for him. Arrest Max. You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a- We're gonna like go to Maya's room and see like posters of him all over her walls. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this is- This was definitely- 
definitely, definitely the Mikado voice. <laughs> fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! <laughs> Um, Maya, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think he's going to be very interested in you. I don't think so. I think he might be... I think he might be a little, uh... <laughs> what a clever girl. Such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous stuff? <laughs> Welcome to the visitor's room. Oh my god, it's Max Nick. Look, it's the real Maximilian Galactica. <laughs> All right, sweetie, pick a card, any card. He, oh my god, he called me so swoon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, girl, I don't know if you're picking up on the on the hints, but I don't think he's gonna be into you. Kazuna and Mikado, love child, interesting. I guess he's gonna be kind of a, a dick, too. He called me sweetie swoon. Well, Mikado is kind of a dick as well. Nick! Oh, time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. And y'all said I would hate this chapter. I can't hate a chapter where I do the Mikado voice. Um, this one. Uh-huh, I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. <laughs> Talk! He just throws the cards at us. And that's my trip. That's my trick. The Ace of Hearts. Uh, he got it, he got it, Nick. Lucky he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You have stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. I give it to all my friends. Oh, Max. Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. We're gonna talk about the case at all. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Oh God, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to steal one of his hearts either. I've already ta I've already promised my heart to another man, Max. And you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Sweetie? Is he calling her Sweetie? Her driver? Oh, whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Are you peasant? Any, any card? I want this one. Oh, so Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Okay, he's calling her Sweetie. Yeah, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Why does he keep doing that? Fabulous! I, I think this guy's fucking guilty, dude. <laughs> he is so sketch. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, um, what about my card? Oh, didn't you use the Mikado voice in this game's first trial, though? Oh, that's true. <laughs> that case wasn't very good either. I've heard... That is kind of interesting. It's like I've heard that, like... The cases in this game in particular are either like the best of the series or like the worst of the series. It seems like this is kind of one of the worst of the series. Maya, the same thing happened with you in the Steel Samurai comp. She's just a fangirl, guys. She's just a fangirl. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, though. Appreciate you. Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Should I even do your trick for me? Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. I did not agree to this. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? Oh, I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, chuck your porcupine head over there. <laughs> okay, shower me with your attention, okay? This guy's kind of creepy. Oh, um, yeah! Absolutely fabulous! Did she even tell you why we came here? <laughs> Roast him, Phoenix! Absolutely cringe-inducing. Okay. Uh, well, let me put you in your place here for a second. Oh, I can actually keep doing this. That's interesting. Okay. What do you think about this? What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? Because you did murder! He isn't wasting your time, Max. You're... Have you noticed you're in prison, sweetie? Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. <laughs> Whimper. Oh, uh, yeah, this guy's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> I'm starting to get bad vibes from him. Do we have to defend this guy? <laughs> I was thinking, too, I was like, you know what? Everybody says this case is bad, but can it be worse than a wolf game? And we still had a lot of fun with wolf game. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I'm fabulous. What else is there to know? I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you... 
Okay, yeah, he's creeping me out. <laughs> I was like, I was like, mm, he's, he's, I'm starting to get bad vibes from him. He's starting to creep me out even more. How old is he, by the way? Now that I think about it. I think Maya's like, what is she, like 19 or 18 now? 21. I guess he's not that much older. He do be, he do be kind of overbearing though. I feel like he just, he seems like a player, you know what I mean? Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us, thank god. Oh, sweet chief, I swear in the world! Why how did I end up here? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear! What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately, you've become awfully famous! Haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head! Get it straight! 21, I thought he was 30. That was kinda that was kinda what I thought too, honestly. I was like honestly expecting him to be like 30. Jesus, people nowadays, they get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyways, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? The Mitch Magician? Oh my god. Oh god, he does give kind of Mitch vibes too. Mitch 2.0. I did indeed. It was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I'm the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. Oh my god, a fabulous off? There, there was a trophy and a bust. It was fab! I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible! Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world! I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm guessing he didn't get a trophy for the most modest magician. Oh my god, Mitch if he had fashion sense. <laughs> He's like, y'all said Kazuna and Mikado, but I'm getting like Mikado and Mitch mixture so far. Thank you, someone unknown. He's hiding his creepy behind his, <laughs> his slayness, unforgivable. He almost got me too, but yeah, I was like, the more we talk to him, the more I'm kind of like, ew. You're giving me Mitch vibes. Thank you, nobody out of the ordinary. Let him rot in jail for just existing. That is so true. I don't love the Edgeworth emote too. Man, I miss him. I miss Edgy, man. When am I gonna see him again? God, I hope it's the next chapter. But yeah, he's he's giving me he's giving me bad vibes. Oh, Kazuna colors. That's it. Kazuna <laughs> Kazuna Mikado. Kazuna Mikado and Mitch like fusion. <laughs> You were assigned to an exclusive contract with a very big circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous. You have to see with your own eyes, sweetie. I don't like anybody who calls people sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus is a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract. Thanks to me, the Barry Big Circus is fabulously pop popular. Okay, contract? Oh, he does have the stars like uh, Kazuna too. Oh, interesting. They do kind of have similar designs. People come out of the droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. That's also honestly just because I'm so slay. I reserve the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, I was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Um, yeah. I made all the old crusty circus performers obsolete. I took their jobs. I put them out of work and now they're all starving on the sweet streets. Isn't that fabulous? Thank you, Shadow Our Midnight. He's Mitch Shandy Fashion Sense. It's so true. Oh god, it's so freaking true. His personality is very Mitch. Mitch, but more more slay. But I kinda like the circus performances. No, you don't, sweetie. Maya looks a bit down. Is she finally realizing that this guy's a total douche? Tell me what happened at the very big circus. You can acknowledge me, man? Ah, oh, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. <laughs> Expecting him to go in like details. Somebody smashed him over the head at exactly 12 a.m. after he called his outfit disgusting. After he said that somebody's stars on their cheeks were tacky. Then somebody, I don't know, smashed him. 
<laughs> smashed upside the head with it until he bled to death and then they might have laughed maniacally over his corpse i don't know i wasn't there but i'm just i'm just kind of you know just kind of guessing what what happened and i'm also guessing that maybe he deserved it maybe maybe he fucking deserved it thank you bless me <laughs> thank you for the donation fun fact max's design was supposedly based on what is not based off of BL tropes in this game? Based off of BL tropes after it was noticed how fans of the genre and Ace Attorney fans overlapped. Oh my god, that's so funny. That's so true. God, we got the BL love between Phoenix and Edgeworth, and now we got a BL character. They just, they're feeding us. They're feeding us, and I appreciate it. Thank you, David. Uh, usually I would make a joke here, but there's nothing I can come up with that's a bigger joke than this case. You know, I'm mildly curious, honestly. <laughs> to know what is up with this case because everybody not everybody but a lot of people seem to seem to hate it a lot but thank you so much for the donation wow this chat is full of weebs on the channel called on the channel called weeby news who would have thought thank you dar actual trash cage three and not yippee oh we got a little peanut emoji oh my goodness uh, i wish peanut would come in here but even he doesn't want to witness this trash case even though it was the middle of the night the police presence was a fabulous the police questioned me at length is this kind of homophobic if you ask me questioned you about what about everything i was the last one to see the ringmaster before <laughs> That's crazy! That's so interesting! Before he was murdered! I saw him last evening in his room. I kinda hope he is guilty. I wanna lose a case. <laughs> I wanna lose a case because I don't know if I really care for this guy. So then, why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Is that why you're in a prison cell? Um, Nick, I think this guy's Delulu. I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Okay, meeting with Russell. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? We have to basically use Maya as our talking piece. Um, what did you talk about with the Ringmaster Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my... This is so scared! About my salary! That bitch didn't want to pay me enough! Um, salary... I'm the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Um, yeah, I feel like Maya's gonna turn into like a hater by the end of this case, dude. She's like, this guy's kind of a weirdo, actually. <laughs> I may have to stop standing. That's all you talked about. Of course, it was a fabulous chat. Oh, here we go. Time to bust out. Oh, three locks? Jesus, I don't got anything for this. Just fabulous. I mean, oh, now he's got me saying it. Um, what's the matter, Nick? You look all bit out of shape. Um,. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. Um, what's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? I like how to Lulu he is. Because you've been arrested for murder! You mean this isn't an all-exclusive, inclusive hotel that my fans are paying for? Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest somebody like me! Why is that? <laughs> because I'm fabulous! So, I'm a very big star of the very big circus. And that means jack shit. I'm rich, I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? I can pay my way out of jail! That's why I killed him, I knew I could just pay my way out. Um, Max. Quit joking around, you've got to be pulling my magic wand! The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Oh! He finally getting it look at max he's crushed well he need to wake up and smell the coffee this is serious business um um yes porky <laughs> you still got me porcupine i mean sir you're a lawyer right uh oh yeah i am an attorney please help me <laughs> the tears now they come out i didn't kill anybody i'll be the judge of that didn't kill nobody I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane! I... I... I could never... I could... I'm too weak to even pick up a rock! You gotta believe me!
you, you can use that one in chat. You can use that one in court, right? Oh, thank you, Dizzy and Queens, for becoming a part of the Kinjo Cold. And thank you, and Dizzy. Take a shot every time. God. Take a shot every time he says fabulous. Oh my god, we would be dead. We should get a fabulous counter, though. That's a good idea. Oh, and thank you, uh, Monix. The narcissism isn't cute, Max. He can't help it. He's just so fabulous. I guess fake eyelashes are literally, oh, yeah, literally coming off. I'm dead. Um, Max? <laughs> Not so fabulous now. I swear! I just wanted to pay off my dad. He's dead. He's, he's back on the farm! <laughs> God! I give him like a Mikado Southern voice. Okay, I'll take your case. Really? <laughs> really? Um, thank you for <laughs> Southern Mikado! Thank you much! Y'all sure are nice folks out here! Um, Max, what happened to your fabulous accent? Oh, uh, yes? Um, what's your, what's your real name? <laughs> what the hell? It's Billy Bob Jones! Yeehaw! Oh my god, oh what? <laughs> what's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin? Yes, snap out of it, Maya! Snap out of it! He's a loser! Oh, <laughs> Thank God they provide him uh, fake eyelashes in prison. <laughs> One second, guard! Guard, please bring me the fake, the fake eyelashes! <laughs> oh, God. So, Mikado, Mitch, Kazuna, and now Pandora? <laughs> Fucking dead. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. I'd pay to see Max strut his way to his cell. <laughs> oh, you know he would be slaying on the way to his cell. <laughs> um... I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Billy Bob Johns, I'm fucking dead. Huh? Knowing Ace Attorney, that's probably gonna be important in the case. Mr. Attorney! Yes, a few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Oh uh, yeah, you remember that. Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? Uh, how did he- He got it right again! Man, I was kinda hoping he'd get it wrong. What can I say? You two, you've stolen some of my... I bet it's just a fucking, like, deck of nothing but hearts. <laughs> he, like, has us choose from. Most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. I think I'm in love with you now. You sure you don't have a lot of hearts, don't you? Oh, I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweet, did he? Oh god, it's gonna start hitting on me now. All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Okay. I guess we gotta maybe go investigate some other people. Yeah, so, oh god, the circus entrance. We're gonna get... Get up. Blindsided with that song again, aren't we? Thank you, nobody out of the ordinary. Billy Bob Jones! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that name fucking killed me. That was the last name I expected. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see his dad. I feel like I'm already, like, suspecting that his dad is homophobic. That's what my theory is so far. We're here again. Yep, but this time, we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. I wonder where Pearl is. Is she... Who's taking care of her now? Because I kind of thought it was Nick, but we haven't seen her so far. It's like, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want her around uh, Billy Bob Johns, because he's kind of he's kind of creeping me out. Um, let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Okay, um, I guess I can examine some stuff. <laughs> he doesn't have a big ego at all. <laughs> Just a tiny little, uh, tiny little, uh, hundred foot statue of himself or cardboard cutout of himself. Look, look, it's Mac! Max! Even when you don't want to see him, even when you don't want to see him poof, he's right in front of you. Oh, I'm doing the fab counter? Thank you, Slay It! Sure, the sign says very big circus, but looking around, it might as well be Cirque du Galactica. The stars in his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star in your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker! Nah, nah, it's, it's alright. I don't think I can pull it off like him. Oh, he's got a little other, uh... Things right here. Those streamers do a nice job of introducing the circus performers. Max and Max and also Max! Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. 
You know? <laughs> Maximilian Galactica and the other people. <laughs> we don't care about it. You don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? You're right, I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to kids climbing up to the top. Um, I don't think that's like, is that possible? Is that a thing? Okay, um, oh, there's a door here. Hmm, this door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthor and I, unauthorized personnel. Uh, this is totally gonna be like the samurai thing where you have to get like personnel. Oh god, is Miss Old Hag gonna be working here? Or Old Bag, actually. <laughs> I think that was her name. Sorry, Miss Old Bag, to disrespect you like that. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a Zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. I bet all the stars stay at that lodging house. Like Max and Max and also Max and then the others. <laughs> this is the box office where they sell all the tickets to the circus. I see a streamer right now. <laughs> I was thinking that too. They all sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So then why don't you buy one now? Um, sounds like a plan. Would that be evidence? Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Oopsie, Nick. <laughs> I guess you'll have to buy it. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask already. You know I never do that to you, Nick. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Maya. I missed you. It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention candy and popcorn. They've even got snow cones. Doesn't really seem like anybody's here. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around, there's tons of snow piled up all around here. <laughs> we got snow cones at home! Just eat some off the ground. Yay! Oh, wait a second, there's no syrup though. I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice that discolored... <laughs> oh my god, there's some lemon! A lemon snow cone on the floor that somebody dropped! Isn't that crazy, Phoenix? Now, Maya, don't, don't drink that! That's not syrup. Okay, is that everything? Oh no, we got the tent too. The very big top is so very b cough, enormous. Yep, one look at the huge tip looming, looming over you and you realize that this is, this is in fact a circus. I know, I know, it really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Okay, I think that might be every, oh wait, oh yeah, there's another little ticket thing. There's a lot of these. Nick, the entrance is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. No tortured animals, they're just, they're just, you know, in the back, in the back getting tortured right now. Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly, not today. I know that too. Oh, well, I'll just have to, oh, thanks. I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. Ah, uh, it's not like we're here on business or anything. Oh, thank you, Brie. Let me, um, remember to pin that. Appreciate it. Let me get this back up too. To do. It's not like we're here in business or anything. Okay. I guess we go to the tent first, probably. Kind of seems like that's most likely the case. So I doubt we can go to the lodging thing right now. But I guess we can try afterwards. December 28th. I feel like the lion kind of reminds me of, um, what's the thing in, um, was it a lion mouth actually in, um, Aladdin for like the temple or whatever? I feel like it might have been a lion mouth. I don't know how to think about it. <laughs> the circus stage sure doesn't look this small for a mouth in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Um, why not? You look like you'd be great at it. <laughs> I think you'd like break his back or something. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Ah, uh, hey, is there a lion here? Grr. Huh, Nick? It wasn't me. Grr. Oh my goodness, that's, that's Tiger. They even give him a name. His name's just Tiger. Oh, it was a tiger? Okay. Why do they have a lion then if they have a tiger here too? They could match Aladdin too if they actually had a tiger. He's coming this way! Don't they put him in a cage? Oh god! I'm about to get murdered! And then Maya will have to investigate that case. Nick, you're too young to die! Nick! Stay, stay, heal! Do you guys don't put these guys in a cage? They're free roaming! Free roaming circus animals. That's nice, I, I guess. Uh, I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick, are you okay? Uh, scared you, didn't I? Let's see, who's this? Oh! 
Regent is such a cute talker, isn't he? Okay. Oh my god, she looks like she should be like Sailor Moon or something. She's also very fabulous! She's also kind of slay, so maybe she did this! <laughs> now that I uh, see this. Oh, thank you, Brie. Love the recent reaction for Amazing Digital Circus. Oh yeah, that was so fun! I was wondering who your favorite character is. I'm also asking chat, too. Oh god, it's so hard. I do love Pomni a lot. She's so cute. Honestly, I really love Kinger too. I just love how freaking like crazy he is. Like, I was dying. There was that one part where they sent like I think Kinger and Gangle to go like uh investigate something. Jax told them to investigate something and he was just like <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> he was so funny. I kind of feel like he probably is gonna die too, so I don't know, maybe that's another reason why I'm like attached to him. And also, oh god, there was this other like kind of theory about him, the, what was it? And like, not game theory, but I guess film theory video. I did a reaction to that too, which I'll post that eventually. But um, there was like another theory about him. I don't know if it's, is it a spoiler or if it's just something that like was pointed out in the background? But I think it's fine. Anyways, they like mentioned that like uh, when you're walking through the dorm room, you can see like a queen. Um, chess piece. So I feel like he's got a trauma dump too, you know. So I'm, I'm see, I'm, I'm curious to know what's up with him and what, what kind of stuff he's seen since he's been there the longest. I think that's another reason why I'm kind of interested in him. Oh, uh, those are your favorites too, Bree. Ah, oh, nice. I feel like you know, I, I feel like Jax should be my favorite, but I was like, I think I'm a Kinger stan. I feel like I, I feel like I love him. He's just so cute. He's so funny. Thank you, Lucky Cat two seven zero three Luna. Lip peanut meat is big. Bro. Oh God. <laughs> Dude, knowing Peanut, he would be like, I can take him. <laughs> I can take him. Actually, maybe we can give her like a Sonya type of voice. Oh, what's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Maybe something like that. I don't what the matter. What's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. We demand compensation. Huh? He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. The little, the little, he's just a little guy. Okay, she's just like me for real, honestly. <laughs> he's just the little guy. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? They were just having fun. They were just having fun. Okay, it's like when Peanut scratches me, I'm like, oh my goodness, who just want to play? Who just want to play? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? Do you agree? And don't you? Is everybody crazy here? I... I guess. What do you mean you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo, your costume! Huh? Oh yeah, I guess it does kind of look like costume. It's cute! I want to try it out! Are uh, you guys gonna switch costumes? That'd be kind of cute. <laughs> costume? You mean my clothes? I guess you probably haven't seen a spirit medium before. You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Um, I... I guess not. Oh, really? Uh, you're the best! Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Her eyes are so, like... Glistening. <laughs> They're so, like, shoujo. I'm a Regina Berry... Regina George. I'm the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. Okay, is she, like, the daughter of the owner or something? God, Regina Berry, it's like a combination of like Regina George and like Rachel Berry, two of the most <laughs> likable, <laughs> unlikable characters. My name's Maya Faye, I'm a spirit medium. I guess Regina is kind of fabulous, even though she's, you know, <laughs> you know, kind of a biatch. Uh, Phoenix Wright, attorney of law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet ya! Uh, likewise. Okay, I guess we can talk to her. She seems sweet though so far, she's cute. Oh wait, actually, oh my god, before I forget the most important thing, she'll probably love it. Oh no, damn it! She's not gonna give, <laughs> she's not gonna give me a specific thing? Um, what about this, can you, what can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You too? Oh my god, I'm head empty too! I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Emma and Maya, I could see them being uh, besties. What happened? Hey Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean, you mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I, wait, whoa, shit! <laughs> wait, wait a second! 
Why are you so happy about that? <laughs> he was just killed. Oh, you know, he just bled out on the ground right here. <laughs> good times, good times. Um, so are you like sad about that or like anything? And she's so fetch. She is fetch. It's stop trying to make fetch happen, chat. God. So the ringmaster was your Yeah, the ringmaster was my dad. Oh, I'm so glad that bitch finally got what was coming to him. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. I was kind of wondering, yeah, if her dad was the guy who got murdered. Because I was like, either it's like the owner of the circus or the ringmaster. But the ringmaster makes sense. <laughs> Why do you say you're sorry? That guy sucked. <laughs> he was so homophobic and so unfabulous. Um, huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad. Yep, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Um, why did you do that? <laughs> My dad died. <laughs> so weird. Why did you do that? I was playing with a regent. Oh, a regent. So she was with that beast. I was training him to eat my dad, but he got bonked on the head before I could do that. Oh well, <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I can still get Regent to eat uh, Max later at least. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, dad was dead. For someone whose father just was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. Okay, yeah, for real. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. Yeah, either she's like head empty or she just like hated her dad. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Um, huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Okay, I guess Leon might have been like the other animal that they had. I wonder if that would have been like a... Uh, lion, because I feel like, I don't know, Leon the Lion, that's always like a, that's such a like, cliche lion name. Leon. Yes, Leon the Lion. Did her dad kill Leon, and that's why she won revenge? Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina. <laughs> Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes, actually, he was killed. Oh, yes! It's all starting to make sense. She's almost too obvious, though, to be the murderer at this point. She has so much, like, uh, I don't know, so much, like, reasoning to want to kill him so far. Oh, my God. Not the 11037 in chat. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even think about that. He actually was killed. My Yeah, actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. Why is she so happy about this, too? What? Why did he do that? How are you trauma dumping on us so nonchalantly? Um, I'm not sure why he did it. He was kind of a dick. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Those innocent shoujo eyes. Can I... I don't think I can present anything else to her, right? Nah. And really? You too? You're also head empty? I no wonder she reminds me of Sailor Moon. Look at that freaking uh, wand, dude. It's almost exactly like uh, Sailor Moon. Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. I've got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show. Oh, you know, <laughs> this girl, she has so much. She has so much motive. Yeah, you know, now that Max is sent off to prison, I guess I'm the star now. Now that my evil uh, dad's dead. And, you know, Max is, um, in prison. Everything's working out for me in life. Oh, yeah, the profiles. I forgot about that. I'll do that, uh, next. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it, too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, present her some profiles. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, what do you think about... Oh, wait, who the hell is this? Oh, uh, Russell Berry, the victim of the ringmaster of the Berry Circus, Regina Berry's father. Oh, dang, she's only 16? She's so young. Out of the Berry Big Circus and daughter to Russell Berry, the ringmaster. Well, no wonder she hates him. He's got his daughter working, <laughs> working as a minor, dude. He's probably not paying her anything either. I say slay, Regina. <laughs> I say slay, queen. I don't even know if you did it yet, but if you did slay... 
It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyways? You don't know? Uh, nope! Okay, maybe she is just head empty. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay! Nick and I will help him! Um, Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal. Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Um, like what? Um, giggle. Um, okay. Uh, she got a crush on him too or something? Okay, tell me about yourself. Thank you, uh, Monix. Regina is a hybrid of Sonia, Sailor Moon, and Eeny Meeny. <laughs> If she's a eeny meeny a hybrid, that kind of does make me think that she uh, that she might slay. All right, I look so cute in this picture. Oh my god, slay! Don't you think I look cute? Don't you? Don't you? You sure do. Oh, I want her and Maya to be besties. No objections here. Okay, let's show her her dad. Um, after practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. Gotta gotta show the profiles to what's his face too, Max. <laughs> His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Um. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. Okay, the ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. I kind of want to reread this. Fairy went to his room. His room. Door right there, ringmaster's room. Okay, we definitely need to go there. I might be good to investigate some other stuff here, though, too, right? Probably. What do you think of Maya? Maya, you're a spirit channeler? Yep, I'm still training though. That sounds like fun. I think you should join us at the circus. Huh? As a spirit channeler? <laughs> Got your talent? That's some clown shit right there. Yeah, you'd be a big hit. Really? Oh my god, oh, we're gonna lose Maya. She says I'd be a big hit. I think she's just being nice. <laughs> okay, I guess we need to examine some stuff here. Oh my god, the ladder! What was the step ladder? Wasn't that one in uh, the Sa Steel Samurai one? Ah, oh, ladder! It's just. It, that's a full. Come on, Phoenix, that's a full blown ladder. That's not a step ladder. Um, what's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. Okay, um, boxes. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can help us. Not a single clue. And you know, I've been meaning to ask you, what exactly do you mean when you say clue? What are you looking for? Uh, you know, clues, the, those kinds of things. A bloody chains, a <laughs> bloody chains. <laughs> yeah, you know, the police might have mix, missed that. Well, I guess we do have Gumshoe as our like police chief or whatever, not police chief, but our main police officer guy, so yeah. They definitely, they, that sounds like something he would miss. A bloody chainsaw? I didn't even notice that! Well, there's definitely not one of those here. Okay, a rope. We still don't really know too much about the murder itself. We just kind of know he got bonked on his uh, head, right? That's a stepladder since it has two sides holding itself up. Oh, it is a step, oh, okay, is that what, I thought a stepladder was just like a small ladder. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know much about stepladders and ladders. I guess that makes sense, though. I guess I feel like I usually just see those types of ladders, not the, like, you know, normal, I guess, like, one-sided ones. Or, you know, ones that are just one side. Hey, it's a rope! Probably for tightrope walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. Okay. They get fired or something? <laughs> this music is uh, a little much. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means lots of people can fit in the big top. Oh, the big top! Whoa. The name of the case! He's right, we can fit 500 people into a show. 500? That's amazing! Flying around above that many people is a real rush. At least that's what Max said. Okay, interesting. Oh, these light things. I like that's always kind of like a murder plot in like theater, or, like circus kind of stuff. Like, oh no, the light accidentally fell on them and killed them. Whoa, these lights are huge! I love lights! Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me! That's because everyone knows that you're cute! And no, I'm not cute. And you're cute! Oh my god! Oh, girl! <laughs> They're so bad!
besties. Me? Can we just throw What's-His-Face into prison? I don't care if Regina did it. I like her. She's cute. I say we save her. She's only 16, too. You know, she's got her whole life ahead of her, and her dad's probably evil anyways. Of course, I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Or really, you think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine. What about it? What about Nick, Regina? Who? <laughs> um, who? Huh, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Uh, ouch. Thanks a lot, Maya. Thanks a lot for that one, Maya. Cool, and I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. Great. Oh, they're so cute, dude. Oh my god, they're just the absolute besties. The absolute besties. Big top ringmaster's room. Okay. Does seem important. Very big circus. Oh, he's got, um, what's her face? It's like the main person in this poster. I mean, I guess it would make sense the guy would probably, like, uh, you know, the ringmaster would want his daughter to be the star of the show. Because then he's like, I can take her money. Because she's still a minor, so I can get, I can pocket all the money for myself if I want to. <laughs> I feel like I hear a lot of, like, child actor stars, like their parents doing that. This was the ringmaster's room. Yeah, this room belongs to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, that is what he said. Do we know what room he died in now that I think about it? Did they say that? I can't remember. Head empty. <laughs> Head empty. I feel like it might have been in here, but I don't see any blood or anything. Thank you, Monix. Big top. AKA Edgeworth. <laughs> I miss him. I miss Edgeworth so much. I miss him so much. I said what I said. <laughs> if it's chat reacting to it too. I'm dead. Now that you mention it, that is what we what he said. I wonder what. Hmm. That's an interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max. Ah, I want it. I want it, Nick. I want it. I want to get out of here. <laughs> I don't even want to do this case. Okay, this looks important. It's a table for guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah, look at this. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. This is about to depress me. Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! She looks like she's about to... About ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! That much? Jesus! Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. This does kind of prove more so that Max wouldn't have too much of like a reason to want to kill him since uh, he was getting paid well. Tax evasion. <laughs> Probably. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. Okay. Dated a week ago. Documents relating to Max's salary negotiations. He got an enormous raise one week ago. He got a raise one week ago, and then he was like, um, I don't think that's enough <laughs> when he went in yesterday. Um, one million dollars per year, um, that's kind of, that's kind of a little cheapskatey, huh? Don't you think so, ringmaster? Whose name I still don't know. Okay. Oh, I can click on it. Oh, no, 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 I can't. Okay, that was just, uh, ew, there's a mud cake. T there's mud cake on the table. Okay, I do get some new stuff. Someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes on the table. Nick, don't even think about it! I wasn't! How on cost do you think I am anyways? Okay, there we go. I was like, I'm kind of surprised I could click it again. Let's see. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of somebody who already knew that. <laughs> oh, come on! Don't be mean to her! What? <laughs> a scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Okay, anything interesting? Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, Phoenix, stop bullying her. Come on. Okay, I guess we can click on... I got a picture of those two. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. I don't know. I mean, maybe she does want to perform, but, like, 
I don't know if I really believe it so far, just because she's so young, you know what I mean? Like, she's still, she might enjoy it, but she's still having to probably, like, work her, like, you know, butt off to do this. And then, yeah, she didn't really exactly seem sad about the fact that, uh, you know, he died, which also makes me feel like... I don't know if she really liked him that much. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? <laughs> Maya, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. It's also like a criminal investigation going on. I don't think we should mess with the uh, evidence. But, but you didn't even notice that I took one. Oh gosh, you already swiped one. <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? Emblazoned with Max's three famous symbols. Famous symbols? What are those? Okay, I guess I can look at these other ones too. Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? She is kind of a klepto, isn't she? I feel like that's been kind of a, <laughs> a thing throughout the uh, Ace Attorney series, Maya. Just kind of like randomly <laughs> swiping stuff <laughs> while we're investigating. We should make posters to promote our law firm. We're gonna have to defend you in a stealing case someday, Maya. Spine-tingling legal action, mind-numbing legalese, you will say, wow. Or perhaps, hold it, don't miss out on a stunning life or a death courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. Okay, looks like we've clicked on the posters. Some more pictures up here, though. Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is cool, it seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office? We can put up pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. I'm like trying to think of who exactly. Why don't we just put pictures of Edgeworth up? <laughs> I was like, that's all I care about. <laughs> can have like an Ed Edgeworth wall, then we can have a Frances Francesca wall. That's it. Oh my god, and a Von Karma wall, of course. Oh my god, and a uh, Mr. Grossberg wall. <laughs> Of course. I don't know if we had a client who was found guilty. Um, we'll just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Nick, now you've got me thinking about losing cases. Why do you do that? Why do you always make me feel like I'm wrong? Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed. Just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmaster... Association Mini Golf Master. These are kind of random. <laughs> Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ. Pet Grooming Grand Prix. What the hell are these? <laughs> belly Balloon Bounce. I feel like this guy, he like, I feel like he wishes he was Grossberg. You know what I mean? But he's not. He's not Grossberg. Look at this guy. You'll never be Grossberg. Stop, stop trying. Stop. He's already dead anyway, so. <laughs> so why does it even matter? But you'll, you won't be Grossberg. Even if you were alive. Beer belly balloon balance. Wow. Now, now Grossberg can take that. Now he can take that title of the beer belly balloon and balance. Wow, the ringmaster was multi talented in many ways. I could never imagine. Okay, let's, um. God, he was. <laughs> I can't believe he bounced that beer on his belly. That's crazy. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it's 100% all-natural organic mascara. Okay, look at him being an environmentalist. And this one says, scented enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skincare. Very metrosexual, like everybody else at the circus. Okay, some more plaques or something. All these frames look the same. They almost look like... They, oh, they almost look like thank you cards. Looks like every year the ringmaster... Oh, God. Is he a nice guy? Man. <laughs> is he a nice dude? Damn it. I've been roasting him. Made donations to charity. To the robot clown... <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I was like, wow, he's doing to charity? And now I'm like, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> These charities don't really seem that uh, good. Just kind of meme to the Robot Clown Research Center. Thank God somebody's supporting those robot clowns. Um, you're kidding, right? What, they may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. Oh, I just so happen to own that charity, too. <laughs> then I can write off that donation and also gain it. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I don't know. 
<laughs> I take it back. I still don't trust this guy. Okay, I feel like we might have clicked on everything in here. Probably at this point. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. I guess we can go back to the big top. Do I have anything else to present her? Oh yeah, I guess I have this stuff now. I guess I could try it. Why not? Okay, no. It's like, I didn't really think so. I guess I could probably present this stuff to What's-His-Face. Okay, no. I got nothing for you, girly. But I still love you. I still think you're adorable. Okay, I'll go ahead and see if I can check this other area, but probably not the lodging. Otherwise, we can just go back to the detention center. Ah, I guess we can stay outside and kind of investigate from there. Maybe look through the window or something. Oh, Satsuki! Ah, illegally owned by Satsuki. I miss Satsuki! Oh, I love her so much. This seems, this seems to be the dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Oh, it's you two. Who is the, oh. <laughs> why'd you make me, why'd you make me sound like that, Weeby? Why'd you give me the Mikado voice? Oh, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, detective. You have no life. Well, I'd rather not always be working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. Crime. Crime never pays. If I had to be at the circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer on the tightrope. And that fabulous Maximilian! However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Oh wow, he sounds so, like, edgy. <laughs> Trying to take up Edward's place, Gumshoe. Nick, Nick, he complained! <laughs> oh, that's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Okay, I guess I gotta talk to him. Tomorrow's trial. Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course, it will be Miss- Ah, uh, yes! I did see her in the picture for this, I figured, but- Ah, yes, I'm gonna- I'm glad to see her again. If I can't have Edgeworth, at least I can have Francesca. I love her too. Uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? Oh, she most definitely will. What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Miss Von Karma is really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Um, like who? Um, like, yes! Oh my god, finally, somebody asking the important questions. Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. <laughs> I miss you, Edgy! I miss you so much! I miss you! Where did he go? Why did he leave me in, his, in my moment of need? You know Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth. What in the world happened after I went back home? Mr. Edgeworth, they, they broke up. You haven't heard what, what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not. <laughs> Cause they act like he's dead. <laughs> Did he die? What's going on? He's not around. Nick, what does he mean, Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's he's not around anymore. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? That's illegal in this house. He's basically Voldemort here. Um, Nick? Oh god, it's so angsty. Oh god. It's turned into so much BL angst. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. God, this game really was made for just like Fujoshis. <laughs> like myself. He died outside the cold. In the cold. A pretty sound way to go out if you ask me, pal. Um, it was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Okay, so it was found literally here. Right about where you're standing now. Oh, look, there's some blood underneath your feet. Ah! Oh, surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yep. Yeep. It's pretty clear. Cut. as far as murders go, he was discovered quickly. 
But, but, there's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Okay. Ha, there always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. Okay, something unusual. What was this one thing that didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. They were fa fabulous heels, just like Maximilian wears. Footprints? Okay. Look at this picture of the crime scene. Oh, he's on like a chest or something? Interesting. That's gotta be important too. What's this? This wooden box under the body. No clue, pal. It's Max's rays! Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And, and, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. I guess there's like kind of some overlapping? The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is, there's definitely not really any perpetrator footprints. The killer's footprints aren't there! Bingo. Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit. Hmm. Huh. I'm trying to think how this could fit to uh, Regina being the culprit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kego Kev. Francisca Von Karma. Slay. Oh, she does slay. In all the best ways. Thanks for stopping by. I love her so much. She's awesome. A flying culprit. Okay, so Regina. <laughs> I always am coming up with like the stupidest theories for these types of games. Regina got a tightrope. She had to go from one building to the next. And then... While she was walking the tightrope, she started, like, just throwing shit at her dad to, um, you know, kill him. I guess there would be... Wait, no. Oh, no, no, she got a very heavy yo-yo. So the yo-yo could fly down, bonk the dad on the head, kill him, and then come back up so there's no trace. No trace of footprints, no trace of the crime scene. <laughs> That's gotta be it. And she also used a, dr a drone umbrella. <laughs> I can't forget that part. That's when something just clicked in my head. And she used a secret tunnel to get there. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> There's also that. <laughs> There's also the fact that Max flies. I kind of forgot about that part. But, you know, it's whatever. There's no way. Flying is impossible. That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. A <laughs> yo-yo. A very heavy yo-yo. What is with a hollow laugh, pal? I mean, nothing by it, pal. And don't call me pal, buddy. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Okay. A picture of the crime scene to the court record. That's good. She's not Kanade. <laughs> I felt like, I don't know, I don't want to ever compare anybody to Kanade unless they really deserve it. Okay, um, let's show Max first, I guess. Be like, yeah, that bitch did it! It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Okay, it makes sense, he's kind of a dick to everybody. Um, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. He's just a bad person, okay? That's all. It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Huh? Oh, he left something at the scene of the crime. Oh, his hat. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have a very classy decorative element. Silk hat add to the court record. God, it always looks so bad for our clients. Made to order hat that is a symbol of Max's fabulousness. Found at the crime scene. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they are mundane? At least they're easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. Well, that's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. It's always the eyewitness, I feel like, in these games. Ah? Uh? Tell us about the eyewitness. I swear to God, it always is the eyewitness. Oh, okay, I guess I can ask now. Um, so about the eyewitness. Oh, you know I'm not gonna tell you about that. Because they're obviously the criminal. That's the prosecution's trump card. Um, are you working with her? 
Oh well. Oh, and I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Um, why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remember to t tell you. Francesca said she would whip the shit out of me if she if I let y'all in there. It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal! Not your pal, buddy. Okay, let me um present some stuff. Will you talk more about this? You know, I can't tell you. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. When you put it so bluntly, it kind of hurts my feelings, pal. I wonder if I can do some more profiles. I'm kind of curious if he has anything to say about her. You're going down this time, pal. What? <laughs> okay, Francesca Stan. Oh, is that right? She's been practicing a thousand crocs a day. <laughs> that's why. I mean, she might lose the case, but she's gonna beat the shit out of you, bro. A thousand cracks a day, pal. Cracks, wait, you don't mean cracks of the... Yep, oh god, cracks of the whip. Oh, it's like I can feel her presence here. Um, okay. Um, kind of curious if he has anything to say about, like, the victim. Got affidavits from the, most of the performers at the circus. They are certainly a strange bunch of characters. Um, you don't say. Well, not strange. Stranger than you, I think. I suppose. That was cold. I'm sorry, I was just messing around. Okay, I don't know if I can really... Okay, yeah, probably nothing. Man, Gumshoe, you're always so tight-lipped. Okay, I guess I can examine here too. I kinda wanna look at the... Uh... I love how we're just like walking all over the evidence. <laughs> like all over the footprints and stuff. That doesn't seem like a good idea, but whatever. This is the only place the snow has been trouched upon. The murder was sloppy, leaving all these prints all over. No, no, no. They're the ones who left the prints. Okay, getting to a serious, a serious theory, you know, besides my, you know, yo-yo drone umbrella tie walk theory. I feel like I guess the killer could have just like walked specifically in this prince, you know what I mean? I guess maybe if they have, maybe if they had like small feet, they could just kind of walk exactly in the uh, pathway that, you know, the ringmaster guy left. What was his name again? Like, uh, I, keep, I keep forgetting. I keep having to talk about him too, so. Russell, that's what it was. No, 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 the, we're the ones who left the prince. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and, <laughs> what the mess? You're such a shit detective, Gumshoe! I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped. <laughs> she was here too? Thank God there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. Oh, it's still bleeding to this day. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. Yeah, for real. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I can't click on that. No clues here. I thought for sure that'd be a clue. Okay, what about this thing? There's some evidence under the tarp over here. Hey, watch it, pal! I can't even, I can't even look at the evidence here! The killer is behind that tarp. But you let Francesca whip you. Ah! Ho, 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 ho! What are you, Santa? Gotcha, I was just kidding. Grr. Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas! I feel like I'm always playing the Christmas case around Christmas. Whenever I stream this game, funnily enough, this year I finally won an air conditioner. What, you didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your tric triceratops to work too? And what do you mean, what do you mean won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things. My salary sucks, but I got lucky and won it at a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? <laughs> peanuts? Oh my goodness! I wish Peanut was here. I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts, or to take care of my cat, Peanut. The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long. So they should have been on at the same time of the murder, but no cameras, I guess. So he's saying the murder took place in the light. How strange. How strange indeed, huh? There's so many windows around this murder, too. Like, you'd think somebody would have saw something, but I guess not. I guess not. Okay, was there anything else here at the, to click on? This area has not been very helpful. I guess it's kind of hard when Gumshoe's here, because he just, like... <laughs> he just blocks us so much, dude. Okay, let's move and try to go somewhere else. Moe's room.
Oh, what the? Who? Wait, who the hell's Mo? I wonder whose room this is. I was like, oh, have we met a Mo yet? <laughs> Thank you, Monix. Gumshoe leaves a lot to be desired when compared to Kyoko or Shuichi. Imagine if we had them as detectives in this game. <laughs> I feel like these cases would be way easier, honestly, if we had one of them. Thank you for the donation, by the way. I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Mo on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. Oh my goodness, look at the little doggy shoes. Those are kind of cute. What a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. What is... What is this? Why has he got carrots hanging up? Y'all see that? <laughs> he's got... Why has he got carrots hanging up? Oh yeah, there's like... A water spillage there too, Jesus. These performers work in really bad conditions, don't they? Besides Max, because all the money goes to Max's salary, because he's fabulous. I give up, we'll have to come back later. Okay, what's up with these fucking carrots, dude? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. What the, there's a string of carrots here. How strange, the carrots seem to come in all different shapes. What the hell? I can't tell if Mo just- I can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he's using them for some sort of gag. I'm starting to think it might be Mo who did this. Because I'm assuming he might be the eyewitness that Gumshoe was talking about. And I feel like it is always the eyewitness in these games. Also, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, it seems like he would kind of have a motive too since his work conditions seem to be pretty bad considering he's hanging carrots on a string and he's got like a leak up here that's like not fixed at all. The storm does not look very, uh, you know, comfortable or big at all. Somebody said that's his food supply. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. Look at the ceiling. It looks like someone punched a hole in it. <laughs> Mo got angry. You're right. I wonder what happened. Um, I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. Okay. The very big circus. Is that him actually on the picture? And nobody cares about Mo. Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books in here he has here. <laughs> Clowns for dummies. Joke's on you. Treat your peons right. And the classic. Funny jokes are funny. Oh, that's so true. Wow, Mo is very studious. The joke's on you, huh? Okay, look at his little cliche clown costumes. All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. It must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. She's so cute. I love Maya. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, then you can say that. <laughs> She's so adorable. Oh, Jesus. I just noticed that. What the hell? <laughs> Fucking clown face on his bed. Oh, God, that's creepy. Okay, I guess we'll click on his PJs. Oh, my God. The blue badger. Dude, I kind of had a nightmare about Blue Badger last night. I can't remember exactly what happened in it. I feel like... I feel like I might have been playing a video game and then he just, like, kept popping up. <laughs> like, all across the stream and I was like, What's going on? <laughs> I just forgot to tell you about that. <laughs> that was a weird dream. Moe's got an excellent pair of pajamas. Laid on his bed in an excellent manner. Um, what? Those are pajamas? You mean he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Ew. <laughs> He's very dedicated to his craft. I want to see the doggy shoes. Awesome. Look at these shoes. They're great. Forget the shoes. Check out the great gag. Banana peel. You sure it wasn't Moe's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. I feel like it might be a thing where like, oh, he can't have done it because look at how big his shoes are. They would have definitely left fingerprints or like snow prints in the uh in the snow uh, i guess he could have been uh, what is it like on the little um what is it like those little poles like they walk on the like tall things what are those called stilts he could have been walking stilts after russell and that's how he didn't leave any fingerprints d clown equipment is so funny looking he's got a balancing ball a unicycle he's even got a trampoline um but they're all broken. Yeah, for real. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. I feel like this guy's got anger issues. <laughs> Maybe. Is that where the hole in the ceiling came from? 
Who knows with that guy? That was kind of the implication when they investigated it. Maybe that's part of the gag? Ah, uh, you know, being physically abusive. All a part of the gag, baby. All a part of the meme. Okay, is that it? Everything in here? I think so. Wait. Yeah, yeah, Okay, that's everything. Oh, wait, no, the window. Nick, you can see the scene of the crime from here. Oh, I had a feeling. You can even tell that the ground has been disturbed. It's right in front of this window about 30 feet away. I guess it wouldn't have been strange for someone to have seen the crime from here. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was like, there's so many freaking like doors and stuff around or windows like around the crime scene. Okay, I think I want to talk to Max again. It's kind of been a while, but I feel like we got a lot to show him. You know what I mean? Hopefully he's here. Okay, cool. Good, I missed you, Max. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't actually. Oh my god. Mo is the Joker. <laughs> Where's Batman when you need him? I'm dead. Uh, Max. Oh no, Max is in here. He must be in questioning. Ah, I wanted to see a magic trick. He should be back in a little bit. I guess so. Ah oh, man, no, that was my like main thing that I wanted to do. Right and co law offices. All right, we've got lots of things we have to look into. Not the time for slacking. Let's get going. Okay. Uh, what's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica. Who would have guessed he was a country? <laughs> it totally ruins the appeal for me. I thought he was slay. What to do? So what do we do? Huh? There's still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. I feel like we did all that. Yeah, I guess you're right. We still don't even know what happened in the first place. Okay, fine, girl. Fine. I think we do kind of just go back here when we need help, basically. Um... Let me see. Oh, she was like talking about visiting the scene of the crime. I was like, I feel like we did this, didn't we? Come on, you flash that badge at me so many times it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and again? Well, I do have a steel samurai badge with me. How about that one? Do you have a Freddy Fazbear badge? I'll only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a steel samurai police badge. Then it's a deal! I hear that Detective Gumshoe has that very badge. <laughs> oh, what? Don't look at me like that! You're making me nervous! And how do you know that? Oh, you know, I can't tell you anything about the evidence we've gathered. Stingy! Well, when you put it that way, it hurts my feelings. Yeah, okay. Um, did I present? Did I present all the profiles to him already? I guess I don't know if I did this one yet. Gone? No, 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 yeah. Doesn't seem like anything really works on Gumshoe. Present himself! Okay, I'll just move and try to talk to somebody else. Circus entrance. Maya, yeah, Maya would definitely be a FNAF fan. I could see it for sure. Let's go back to Big Top. Anything I pre can present to you, maybe? What about this now? She's so head empty. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I can look at it! Oh my god, he's so cute! That's a big ass hat, isn't it? Doesn't look that big uh, on the, uh, <laughs> on like the, yeah, the evidence thing. Okay, no. The head empty. <laughs> really? Oh my god, you don't know anything either? The silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought of the idea for wearing the hat. Huh, really? Yep, he took my sketch to the hat shop, and they made a custom hat for him based off the sketch. There was only one of these silk hats in the world, isn't that cool? Okay, so nobody else can have that. <laughs> oh no, he's hot! <laughs> I think I saw somebody, maybe try going somewhere else? I try. I don't know if there's be anybody here, though. We've already been in here. I feel like we've talked to everybody here. Pick top. Trying to get away from this theme song. Is there anywhere else we can go to that we haven't gone to yet? No, I feel like it. We have dad profile. We can try that. Y'all just want to listen to the music more, don't you? 
That's truly it. Oh yeah, we already did this actually. For practice over, he went to his room. Yes, to the ringmaster's room. Don't know why, but he went off in a hurry. I think I've already done all the other ones. Hmm. Oh, what's on your mind? I guess I just forgot. I just I guess I just missed that. Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? Uh, I'll tell you, Maya. But just you. You know I'm here too. Ah. Uh. Um. Well, mumble, mumble. Oh yeah, she did say something about that. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> this song is such a banger. Keep it playing. Ah, uh, she's whispering it. Come on, Maya. You gotta spill the tea for me later. What? Really? And then mumble, mumble. Oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Oh my God, there. <laughs> They are such besties. Come on, Nick. There's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone... Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel like I might... Uh... <laughs> I feel like I might know where this is going. Oh, Jesus. Was it what's-his-face, Max? Isn't he, like, 20, though? She's, like, 16. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. Profess their love. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I know where this is going. Not oh. Ah! <laughs> Why are you happy about this? That's a crime. That's a crime, girl. I know you're young still, Maya, but Jesus Christ, it was Maximilian Galactica. Blech. I'm gonna. Uh, <coughs> I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts, anyways. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're so nonchalant about this, too. Can we just lock him up? I don't want to defend him. <laughs> I don't want to defend him anymore. And then on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. Who, Mo? What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Oh, or Trillo? Trillo. Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Is he age appropriate? Just go with him, girl. <laughs> if he's age appropriate. God. Knowing, knowing though, it's probably not. Oh, I haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men of. <laughs> I fucking hate her dad. The, you, this is what he's exposing her to by having her in this fucking profession. Fucking creeps. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding. Two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I hate how, like, nonchalant they are about this. Oh my god. Me too! <laughs> Stop it, Phoenix. Don't. 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 Ah, uh, giggle. Oh my god. I swear to god, if they try to make her the villain of this, I'm gonna throw up. She's a victim! Ugh, oh, god. I hate it here. I hate it here. <laughs> I hate this fucking case. <laughs> I haven't even gotten that far into it yet, but I'm like, oh god. It better not be like, oh, she's so evil for killing her dad, for putting her in this fucked up situation with all these predators around here. I say slay, girly. I want to defend you. <laughs> I want to defend you, girl. Oh, thank you, Crocomancer. Fun fact, the anime edits out all of the Ro Regina romance stuff. And <laughs> jeez, I wonder why. Okay. That makes more sense why people like the anime one, too. Welcome to why people hate this case. Well, one reason. Oh, God, there's more? There's more? Oh, God. I'm hoping Phoenix was just joking. I'm really hoping you... Uh, uh, I hate it here. <laughs> oh, God, this is making me hate Phoenix. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, thank you and Dizzy. That's it. Forget the case. Throw that crown looking magician. I was like, can we just keep him in there? I don't care if he didn't do the murder. Like, can we just, we can just keep him in prison. We already found another reason to keep him in prison. So he can just stay there. And now the case is over. <laughs> now it's over. Yay. No reason to do this. We can just move on to the next trial, right? Thank you. Shadow our midnight. I warned you, Weeby. We need to protect Regina. I know. Oh, dude, I know. I feel like it probably is gonna be like she did it or something, and that's gonna piss me off if that's the case. Huh? Hey, Nick, look over there. What? There's someone over there. Excuse me. Oh, what the? Who's? Who is this? Is he Trilo? Hello. 
Um, wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me. Uh, what, 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 me, me? Yeah, you work at the circus, don't you? <laughs> the bow tie. No, I'm just your, just your everyday average Joe. I guess, yeah, Teru, uh, Teruya voice would probably be good. An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus. I don't think so. He's sketch as hell. I ain't doing nothing. I know nothing about nobody. Yeah, I am. I got nothing to do here with what's going on here. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name is May Maya. Well, I am. Um, I just happen to be um, passing, passing by here. I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of ca carny. Uh, not, not a carny. Um, excuse you. I'm a performer, actually. I'm a, 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 a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? <laughs> um, Benjamin w Woodman. Okay, it's because he like uh does like a wood puppet or something. Your last name is Woodman. <laughs> Snicker. Yeah, that's that's right. But everyone calls me B -b 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 Ben. Um, yes, yes, that's your alias, right? I believe they call it a stage name. Okay, so he's not even either of the people we were talking to before. Well, this guy's a <laughs> weirdo. What happened? Excuse me, Ben. Um, yes, you mean me? About the murder, I'd like to talk to you about the details, if I may. Oh, really, I'm just a regular normal guy doing normal things like not killing people. I, I don't know. Uh, this guy is so nervous. He's creeping me out. Maybe he saw the killing take place or something? Nick, cheer up. Just try and smile. Okay, Max Galactica. You probably hate him too, right? Oh my god, you're just like me for real if you hate him. Would you mind telling us something about Max? Maximilian Galactica. The predator. M -m -m Max? He's not very nice. Did he just say that Max is not very nice? Oh, ow, 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 my head. Oh, it hurts. The, the trauma's coming back. Yikes, I hope he's okay. It sounds like he just popped a gasket. Okay, ventriloquism. Ben, so you're a ventriloquist. I, I'm, I'm just, just, a, just a regular, regular guy. You already told us that you were a ventriloquist. Oh, oh, shit. I, I can't keep up with my lies. I mean, yes. Nick, don't yell at him. You can't do that. I can't help it. He's making me nervous. Ben, would you mind showing us some, some of your skills as a ventriloquist? Oh, oh, oh well, I, 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 right now, my, but, 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 is he doing like the SpongeBob mocking thing to him? Uh, 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 just fucking tell us what you know, bitch! <laughs> like, damn, Phoenix, you're getting, getting mean. Oh, he's con contagious. Okay, how old is this guy actually? Have to think about it. Thirty-one. Real name Benjamin Woodman. A ventriloquist. Conversing with him is really tiring. Okay, let's show him Max. Would you mind taking a look at this? Um, 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 I, 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 I. Um, I guess we won't need you to look at this after all. <laughs> at least we tried. At least we tried. Okay. I don't know. Any of these profiles gonna work? Nope. Okay. I guess I can try to show him some of this stuff too. Document related to. Is he gonna tell me anything? I, I, bro. Oh my god! I'm not getting anywhere, anything with this guy. Oh, is he a creeper too? Oh god. She might taking. Okay, this guy is gonna be no freaking help. Why is he even here, dude? <laughs> Can I talk to him some more? Is that what I'm missing? Nope. Okay, useless ass. <laughs> Really? <laughs> um. Can you talk about yourself? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. I'm over you. I'm over you. Let's go somewhere. Let's go to Big Top. Let's hang out with our bestie, Regina. The only one I love. <laughs> the only character in this trial that I like so far. Let's see, where can I 
I wonder if uh, what's his face is back. This is the lounging plaza, lounging house too. Nope. Okay, let me try to. It's also Moe's room. Okay, here we go. Talk to Mo. Kablamo! Oh, what the? <laughs> Kid Gara Wait, what kind of voice do I give this guy? <laughs> Why does it get the carrot on him too? <laughs> Congratulations, you're the big wiener. <laughs> what the hell? The one millionth visitor to the room of Mr. Mo Curls, aka me. Earplugs must find earplugs. To celebrate this momentous occasion, would you carry? Care for organic grapes? Just one is gonna explode on me or something? Did you get my joke right there? <laughs> I did not get it. <laughs> um, I welched on giving you more than one. Um, no, no, no. If it was funny, it is your duty as a human being to laugh. <laughs> He's kind of cute, actually. People who don't laugh are usually last seen in. Lansing, catch my drift. <laughs> um, Maya, uh, can, can we go? <laughs> This is like some Faustian nightmare. Come on, it was funny. Clowns are always funny in my book. In my book, they're just funny looking. You sure you, you sure do have great taste in clothes, girly. Look at that garb. You look just like Greta Garb. Uh -oh. uh -oh. I don't think I've gotten a single one of his jokes so far. I think maybe the Welsh one, kind of. I'm going home. No, Nick, you can't. You know, I can't excuse- I can excuse a bad joke or two, but this stooge keeps laughing at his own jokes. That's what I object to! I noticed that too, I was like, I feel like usually performers don't do that. I was like, I do that all the time. But most professional performers I feel like don't. Okay, okay, I get it, but you have to admit that he is kind of funny. Ugh, oh, no, I don't have to admit that. Because he isn't! <laughs> okay. <laughs> at least you seem silly, Goofy. Oh man, we finally have another character that I can like in this. Okay, age 46, real name, Lawrence Curls, the ringmaster's old friend. A pleasant stooge of a clown. Okay, he was friends with him? Man. Hey, we're still living in these conditions, dude? It's kind of messed up. Very big circus. Could you please tell us more about the very big circus? It's a very big story. You sure you got that kind of time? And the hits just keep on coming. Uh, Satsuki's new dad! Oh, he's so Satsuki coded. I love it. That's so true. Oh, I miss Satsuki. This circus has been in business for 20 years. We all performed under the guidance of the ringmaster, Russell Berry. 20 years? Wow! Working in the circus is never easy, especially nowadays. With movies, TV, and bowling, there is just too much competition. But, but, I love this circus! I love it too! That's why I've been here for 20 years! Dang, we work hard to keep the show running! No one sends in the clowns on us! <laughs> Nick, you just made a joke! You better laugh! Hardy har 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 har! <laughs> the ringmaster was a real big shot in the circus world! A real class act. Okay, so you actually are sad that he's dead. You're the first one I've seen who's actually sad that Russell died. Congratulations. Even when there were no customers, Russell would use his own money to pay me. Not very much, but you know, still. It was still kind of nice. Because we knew that I had a family to care for, he was happy to take care of his employees. I see. How could anyone do that to such a wonderful man? Okay, maybe he's not the one who did this. I guess we'll see. But then it, I don't know. It seems like he likes him, but it doesn't really like excuse him yet. I guess we'll see if he's the witness or not. I feel like it's gonna be a big deciding factor in how much I suspect him. What happened? We actually have a lot of people we've talked to, so a lot of potential uh, suspects in this one. Mo. Wiggity wiggity, wiggity what? Oh my, is that, how is that even a joke? I'm sorry, Mo. Nick was born without a sense of humor. What is the joke? Wiggity 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 what? <laughs> it's like, what is the joke there? Don't worry about it. I'm just being 
silly, Weeby, okay? It's being silly is funny. Don't worry about it. How can you fault someone for being born that way? Let's talk about the murder. Uh, let's see. I mu it must have taken place around 10 p.m. last night. After rehearsals were finished, I was tuckered out. So I came back here. Okay. I feel like he might be the witness. Oh, yeah, he literally is the witness. He saw it through the window. Because, yeah, I mentioned earlier that uh, you could see it through the window. And that do be kind of sketchy. And you don't got no alibi besides, I was all tuckered out. <laughs> Thank you, Monix. Congrats, Mo, for being a decent... <laughs> so far. So far. <laughs> I will believe it by the end of this case, though. But we'll see. This case so far has been kind of rough with uh, having characters that are decent humans. After I went to bed, that's when I caught a peek of it. Caught a peek? Of the crime. Just as we suspected. This guy is the eyewitness to the crime. Okay, what you witnessed. You say you saw the crime. Do you mind telling me what you saw? Well, the police told me that I can't share my story with others. Don't say a word, pal. <laughs> I wonder who said that. I'm gonna have to let these lips stay zipped. That's not fair. Aren't we besties now? Come on, you can you can tell me. You can tell me wiggity wiggity what happened. Uh, so funny. I guess you're right. Maybe I can tell you a few details, but only if you can get old stiff lips here to make with the funny. Oh my god, stiff lips. Wait, do you mean me? Nick, you can do it. Just fake laugh, okay? A chim, a chim. What was that? A chim. Like a cop. What's the matter? Just getting ready. Just getting ready, okay? Do you know why I, Phoenix Wright, am a great lawyer? Because I'm right all the time! That's better than all the jokes Mo said so far. Oh. Oh, Phoenix. <laughs> I'm fucking dead! Jesus! <laughs> he hates me. At least his expectations are low. Now I get why you didn't laugh at my jokes, because you have no sense of humor. I wouldn't let him quit his day job. Yeesh, cut a guy some slack. At least it was funnier than Chuckles over there. It wasn't the greatest joke I've heard, but you did try, so I'll tell you what I saw. I'm sorry he's incapable of being funny, Mo. It's one of his many, 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 many flaws. <laughs> that night, once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Once I heard it, I jumped out of bed. That's when I saw... My friend dead. <laughs> and Max standing right there. Without a question, without a doubt, it was that magician. That's all I saw, but it proves how terrible that man actually is. I had a feeling he hated him, too. He knows more about Max than he is letting on. I'll have to show the profile. I guess we can do Russell first, though. The ringmaster was truly ahead of his time. He would always add new elements to the show. New elements. When you've been a performer for a long time, your act starts getting a bit stale. Um, I realize that even my act can get a bit too long in the- Like, what does this even mean? Can get a bit too long in the tooth? Are teeth long? I don't- Is like, is this a joke? Something- Sometimes my jokes can be a bit, um, old- Oh god! <laughs> sometimes my jokes can be a bit old-fashioned. People on Twitter are always trying to cancel me because of my insensitive jokes. A bit long in the tooth? But that make it's it's probably just like corny stuff like that, but that was the first thing that came to mind. But that make believer takes things way too far. Make believer? The magician, the one that thinks he's all high and mighty. He had the gal to say to me, you're one of those funny types, right? What does he mean, one of those? Well the joke's on him now. On him? Yep, he's got on everyone's nerves. The day of the murder. Uh, go ahead. Nope, no way. I just forget I said anything. Okay, okay, sketch. I bet he's still hiding something about Max. I don't know, I kind of feel like this guy did it. He's acting really nice and cute right now, but he does have all these, like, equipment that, you know, seem to have, like, punch marks through them and stuff. And he does have a reason to want to frame Max for it. The only weird thing is, yeah, he did seem like he liked, um, his boss a lot. But, you know, it could have been he did like it until, like, um, 
I don't know. Like, he found out how much Max is getting paid or something. Okay, let's show him Max's profile. I think that'll help. Oh my god, the best boy. Um, if he thinks he can kill the ringmaster, it's only just that he should die too. I agree with you, Mo. I'm right there with you, bestie. <laughs> I'm right there with you, honestly. No! Uh, sorry, I crossed the line. But he truly is a disgusting human being. Yes. Oh my god, it's... Oh no. I was about to say... Say the slay word. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Serve, Mo. Serve. Why do you hate him so much? Let me tell you this one story. The morning before the murder, something terrible happened. Max clonked Ben, oh, right over the head as hard as he could. Wow, just like the way he was killed. Oh, wait, no, Ben. I clocked Ben right over the head. I got confused. I thought it was Russell. I was like, damn, he clocked Russell over the head. And then he did it again that night, but just in a fatal way. It does seem like whoever did this really wanted to frame Max, though, since they even tried to copy, like, what he did earlier that day, like, um, as a way to kill Russell. Ben, the ventriloquist with a speech impediment. You should go to the cafeteria and investigate for yourselves. Okay. The cafeteria? Let's just say there's gotta be something interesting there. <laughs> Is that the name of the person we're gonna talk to? Oh my god, it's so fucking funny! Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, yes. The very big circus is, is very big, isn't it? You should always carry a map with you to get around. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, this is an atlas. Uh, okay, never mind. Oh my god. You should have seen your faces. Oh, I kill myself. Really, I'm dying here. Coronary, coronary. Now he's just laughing to hear his own voice. Circus map added to the court record. Okay, I wonder if I show him any of the other people if he'll have anything to say. That's the ringmaster's daughter, Regina. Ever since she was a little girl, she's been watching the circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese, that Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. Is that your daughter? God, it sucks that my daughter is so freaking ugly, man. Um, Lorena? Uh, Lorena is my daughter. She's hideous. <laughs> I just noticed too, he like moves the carrot out of his eyes sometimes. She lives with her mother now. Oh, she, uh, she is ashamed about, uh, <laughs> ashamed about her dad's career. It's true what they say about the tears of the clown. Okay. I've been friends with Russell since even before the circus began. He was so selfless. He always thought about others before thinking of himself. I'll find a way to return the favor. He always took such good care of me. I wish I would have thanked him more than I did. Ah, um, that's sad. Okay. Um, I'll show you yourself. Ugh! What's the matter? Whenever I see my own nose, I'm reminded of my Italian heritage. <laughs> oh god, it's so hard being Italian. Ah, I see. You guys don't understand the uh, Italiophobia I go through every day. It must be because you have one of those Roman noses. Roman all over your face! <laughs> you actually like that one or no? Uh, too far! This is exactly what I'm talking about, Italiophobia! <laughs> I thought you were better than that, Maya. I thought you were fucking better than that. I didn't cross the line there, did I? You went so far past it, you need a map to get back! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this guy. Ah, Ben, how's he doing? He's a ventriloquist, isn't he? He was weird. <laughs> That's right. Boy, was I surprised when they told me his secret. He's got a second mouth where his belly button should be. Ah! Just kidding. Ben wouldn't tell me a single thing about the murder. Uh, that's a simple problem to solve. He won't talk if he doesn't have... I knew that guy was a fucking creep! I fucking knew it! I called that shit right now! <laughs> oh my god, he confessed to her! Oh my, isn't he like fucking 30 or some shit too? What the, oh my god, somebody get Regina out of here, please! We're adopting her next! Oh, he's 31 and he confessed using a fucking pup. Oh, God. I want to die. He won't talk if he doesn't have... Can I, I don't want to talk to him. His puppet, Shrilo. 
Ventrilo. If Ben doesn't have his ventriloquist puppet, you barely get a word out of him. I'm gonna... <laughs> Really? Uh, master and puppet. I just want to save Regina, dude. I don't even care about who did the murder anymore. <laughs> I'm so over the murder at this point. But the puppet did it. No. No. Oh my god. I hate this man. I fucking hate this man. Oh my god. It's that uppity figure's uppity top hat. They found this at the scene of the crime, didn't they? That's what I've been told. Unbelievable, that jerk killed that ringmaster. It really is a shame what happened to the ringmaster, huh, Mo? It seems that the ringmaster was truly a great man. Was he? I'm not, I'm not convinced. What do you think about this? Anything comes to mind? Uh, you want some advice on your development as a comedian, right? I see, well, this is what you do. When you tell a joke, imagine everyone's wearing underwear and dancing the Lobata. Um, I think that's enough advice for now. <laughs> I love his serious face. Nick, he was giving you good advice. Don't be so close-minded. Okay, what do you think about this? Aw, oh, man, he doesn't think about anything. Man, come on. When will somebody appreciate? Somebody <laughs> appreciate. Uh, I want to send Ben to prison. I want to send Max to prison. I just want to keep Max in prison, actually. I just want them all, all to go. <laughs> ah! I guess I have to find his puppet or whatever for him to actually talk to me, right? Because I don't even think um, he would say anything to me beforehand, yeah. Maya, get away from this man. Get away from him! I don't want Maya near him! Uh, can we go to the uh, cafeteria yet? Or do we still have to wait to do that? Kind of seems. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, wow, this looks kind of rough. Max! <laughs> of course, he's got like a little podium right there. Or I can tell everybody about how fabulous I am! Ew, this place is gross. This must be because of last night. And they didn't have time to clean up after dinner because of the murder. That reminds me, this looks like some kind of, I don't know, more serious damage though, like the stains up here. I feel like the circus is just not very well taken care of. I feel like all the money goes to Max, honestly. That reminds me, what was it that Mo said? He said that yesterday morning, Max clonked Ben over the head here. Okay, that way he was kind of based for that. <laughs> so it's like, actually Max sucks too though. I can't even, oh God, I can't even say anything. They're probably like fighting over hers. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh God, at least Ben got clonked, I guess at least. But yeah, I was like, it was probably because they both confessed to her. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Shadow R Midnight. More can adopt Regina and then he'll have two kids. Oh, Mo, yeah, please. Hopefully he's not a creep. Please, Mo, please, please be the good one. Be the good one in this trial because everybody else sucks. He also said that there is gotta be something interesting here. Nick, what's gotta be interesting? Don't ask. Humph. Okay. The kitchen's over here. Everyone must have taken a turns cooking. There's a duty list posted here. Crazy that Max is never on that list, though. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at cooking for this many people. Maya's killer hamburger. <laughs> hamburger. Oh, God, I love being American. You try it, wouldn't you? Okay. Oh, I can't click on the poster? I thought that might be important, too. Just to show Max's big ego. It looks like they've left it, left it exactly as it was in the night of the murder. They didn't seem too worried about cleaning up the dishes, did they? Hmm, looking at these dishes, it's making me hungry. Let's go get a burger at the snack stand outside. And then get a hot dog and watch some NASCAR! Once we're finished with the case. Alright, then let's get this over with, Nick. Here we go, whoa! I like how she's like wearing like obviously like traditional Japanese clothing, but the people who made this game are like uh, brought, not made it, but like brought it over to America were like, no, yeah, this should take place in California. <laughs> that, that makes the most sense. There's the mute button. Where's the mute button when you need it? I guess it was kind of like translated a long time ago when people were more like, I don't know, worried about like 
I don't know, like, I don't I guess, like, they wanted it. They thought maybe, like, oh, people in America will want a game that takes place in America. This is strange. There's nothing on top of the stand. Look there, Max. Max has written on it. It must be his VIP table. Oh my god, he is such a little douche. Isn't it a bit small to be a VIP table? You won't be... You won't be putting a 10-course meal on this. Well, he could still eat hamburgers, right? Keep our cafeteria clean. Ain't nobody doing that. Keep our cafeteria clean. Doesn't seem like anyone ever read the sign, huh? Maybe they should make it easier to understand. Clean it or die! Well, that would definitely make them clean up. Banana. Okay, I thought maybe the stain, I could click on that. But I guess not. Okay, more dirty dishes. There are dirty dishes all over the place. It must have been too hectic last night to clean up. You know I can't stand a mess, Nick. I think you and I should clean this place up for them. Why do we have to clean up? One, because I hate dirty cafeterias. Two, because one bear is repeating. Oh, <laughs> but this is a crime scene. We can't clean, oh, exact. we can't clean it. This is totally not an excuse. Totally not an excuse to not do cleaning, okay? We have to preserve it for evidence. Arg, you know I really hate dirty cafeterias. Not as uh, much as I hate cleaning dirty cafeterias. I got him. Okay, um, can I click on the Max poster maybe? Oh yeah, I guess there's a message board too. Ah, uh, bulletin board for um, bulletins. It doesn't look like there are any useful clues posted here. Yeah, the anime is really good. I wonder if I can like, I guess I could try to like watch the anime after I finish this trial, cause I am curious to see uh, how the anime did it since apparently it was done a lot better. Boring, according to a lot of people at least. Maybe we should leave a juicy tidbit for someone to read. Juicy, you know, like a fake clue, huh? Maybe something like a message from the killer. You mean mess with the crime scene? Give it up, Maya. You know Gumshoe would take it all seriously. <laughs> he is really stupid. Okay, I don't really see anything here. Was this really supposed to be important? Man, Mo, you made this sound so important. Okay, maybe this was used to like as the murder weapon? He had to get clunked. Or actually, this could have been what I guess Max did to uh, Ben earlier. What's this? Must be a juice bottle or something. Um, watch out, Nick. There's broken glass all over the floor. It's like wine or probably like sake. Um, a, bro a broken bottle just lying in the middle of the floor. Do you think it means anything? Um, there's gotta be something interesting there. Huh? Looks like we're going to have to go back to meet with him. Him? Broken bottle added to the court record. Okay, orange juice bottle that was found broken on the cafeteria floor. It's like, what orange juice is in a glass bottle? That's definitely gotta be like booze or something. Okay, I guess we talked to Mo. That's my assumption at least. So much moving. Okay! Oh, really? Okay, maybe I show it to Ben then. I was like, it's either Mo or Ben that I show this to. Okay. Well, never mind then. Let's go. I just didn't want to talk to Ben. <laughs> that was what it really was. That was what it truly was, honestly. I just did not want to have to talk to him more than, uh, more than necessary. What? Who do I show this to? Do I show it to... Do I show it to Gumshoe? Um, I, I, I'm not really Shut the fuck. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Get out of my face. Fucking creep. Okay. I'll try to present it to him. You know, okay. Maybe it's uh, Max. We can go talk to him. I wasn't sure if he'd be back yet, but. Seems like it. Ugh, I don't want to talk to him either. Ugh. Okay, this is a pretty long investigation so far, man. Two hours. Oh, it's my two sweeties! I'm not your sweetie. <laughs> not your sweetie! I've learned a lot about you today, bro! Welcome to the detention center! Sigh, so, did he just call me a sweetie again? What's on today's agenda? What can I help you with? Well, we've gathered quite a few clues. One der fully fanatab you loso. I mean fabulous. That's why we came to meet with you again. What's what's wrong? Quit making such a scary face. Okay then, Max. Let's make this absolutely fabulous. 
Uh, I'm just gonna get this part over with. Oh wait. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that actually. <laughs> Wrong thing. I was gonna show him uh, what's her face's profile. Meeting with Russell. I don't think I actually have enough, so I'm just gonna have to kind of go through this. Last night, you met with the ringmaster, correct? And negotiate your salary and stuff. Exactly, we reached an um, agreement. What's the truth, the whole truth? I'll just read this to refresh. What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Yeah, let me just backspace. Okay, my bad. I was like, I still want to talk to him some more. Let me save too, just cause uh, I remember one of you guys did say to save scum <laughs> in this chapter. Okay, thank you, Crocomancer. Once trial starts, Franzi can whip these people. Yes! Oh my God, please, 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 please. Please, Franny, do that for me. Okay. I guess I might not have to present it, but I feel like we're gonna have to get here at some point. Let's just start with this. What about the- What? Seriously? You'd like me to sign this for you? Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. uh my sw- uh, She must be- uh, Oh god, why did I do this? With me cooked up all here. Actually, she was laughing and rolling around with her tiger. She doesn't- she does not need you. Get away from her. Leave her alone. She is my- oh god. I wanna die. I want to die! <laughs> um, yeah, very complex and predatory. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, some people are saying that I have everything that I need. So, I'll just save for now. I think- what was it last time that I did? Um, yeah, let's just- I don't want to talk to him any longer than I have to. Okay. I know, I was like, I can't even read his dialogue. I was like, I'm... Y'all can see the words on the screen. I think I'm good. I don't want to read this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to have to experience this any more than I have to. Okay, I think probably the paper for the first one about, like, his old contract. Any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Probably this one. Related to Max's salary negotiations. Got an enormous raise one week ago. I was like, what would you be talking about if you got a raise already? I think so. Take that! We'll see, though. Let's just skip this case. I wish I could. I gotta play it no matter what, though. I guess I could skip it for you guys, though. That's... How long is this case now that I think about it? I guess, uh... I was kind of thinking that maybe I could try to get through it in, like, less streams than normal. Just have, like, stream for longer periods of times, maybe? That's a... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? I am a, a star. You're a scar in my existence. Not with a compensation, just with a date. This was dated a week ago. Um... Max? You finished your contract negotiations a week ago. Fabulous! Okay, at least we got one down. All right, I'll tell you the truth. It's two days. All the cases in this game are about the same length. Okay. Case has a few good moments, but sadly there is that. Yeah. Oh, God, why couldn't they take that out for, like, for the trilogy, you know? Like, for the remake. Like, do they really have to leave that in? It's like they already knew with the anime. They took it out. So, like, why, why leave it in for the game? You know we don't want it. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you. Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about. Well, not if I don't have- I'm trying- I- for some reason that I don't know I'm trying to help you. Like, why are you lying? Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Okay. Oh, probably the bottle because of what happened between him and Ben. Benny boy! I had to guess, at least. I don't think it's the map of the circus or whatever. To that! Ooh, that! three? Isn't this why you were called the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria, but you already knew that, didn't you? Oh, of course! Man, you took off your eyelash and put it back on really quickly. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max, what is it, my sweetie? I didn't fall. It didn't fall and break on the floor. Use the bottle, too. 
Harass Ben. Do I show the profile, maybe? I guess let's show Ben, maybe? Because he used it to, you know, harass him, right? Oh, thank you, uh, Pix Pixel of Flow. Ghost Trick. Remember, Weeby, after this case, we have one of the most beloved in the franchise. <laughs> Stay strong. I'm staying strong. I'm staying strong. Uh, man, yeah, I've heard the next case is really amazing, so I'm excited about that. It's just this is... Some of these parts are really difficult to read, man! It's really difficult to read. Max famous symbol, picture the crime scene. It's gotta be Ben, right? I think so. Um... Take that! Take that. Ben? Benny boy! Oh, God, this fucking puppet's creepy, too. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? Oh! And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. Fabulous! You might as well be a magician! Okay. Unlock successful. Nice. I'm hoping we go to the, the trial after this, right? Um, meeting with Russell. Oh, I can ask him about other stuff too. What the truth is yesterday during morning during breakfast we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben the ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. <laughs> I wonder what they did for the anime uh, to take this stuff out. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie, Princess, that he was in love with her. I'm the only creep allowed in the circus. Would you put up with that? Ill-bred, are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. Are you sure this is Ben we're talking about? Isn't he 30? All I can say is that he made me mad and I had to, t to tap him on his heart. <laughs> tap him? <laughs> Very um interesting way to describe that. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? Oh, try to get Ben fired. That's when I went to his room and laid it all out on the table. I asked him to lend me... Oh my god, I wanna... Mm. <laughs> I hate this guy, why do we have to defend him? Oh, really? Oh my god, please tell me, please tell me, Russell told him to F off and fired his ass. And that's when Max killed him in the case. Max rots in prison, slay. And also, what's his face? Ben rots in prison too. Uh, Jesus Christ. The ringmaster told me that it... I need somebody protecting her. I need someone protecting her! <laughs> Unless he's lying, surely no dad would be like, I mean, I guess he was just like super duper abusive and didn't give a shit. Like what dad is just like, sure, I'll give you my 16 year old daughter. Sounds good to me. Oh my God. Electric chair is right. Sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my, he's totally lying. He's totally fucking lying. And no one else is. Surely, surely Russell said no. I'm like, I don't want to believe that he said that. <laughs> like, I want to... Oh I guess that might be the excuse that people... Because Mo or Max probably didn't do this because we're defending him and we never, like, defend somebody who's guilty. But God, I wish he was guilty so freaking bad right now. I guess Russell could just be a horrible dad. He was making his daughter work for his crappy circus company. I'm so happy he died. Same. Um, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up. Okay. Shut him up. Um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trilo can't say a word. Not without Ben. Oh, he took the stupid ventriloquist puppet. Trilo? The puppet, the ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Trilo tr Triloquist. Oh, it probably is Trilo. Triloquist. Wow, what a unique, <laughs> what a uh, creative name you got there, Ben. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hit it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the balsa, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? 
You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What, sweetie? You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Um, well, we kind of need to get more freaking information, you dumbass. Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous! That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I had Tr Trillo in the ringmaster's room. Okay. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? Stop it. Stop calling me that. No problem. None at all. Thank you, Max. Get her away. Send Maya away from these freaks, dude. I'm so glad that Pearls isn't with us on this case either. You know, I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Then don't go hiding puppets. Oh my god. Um, I already asked him these, but it's uh, heard about, but like, it's not highlighted anymore, so I guess I can do it. <laughs> skip the important, skip the dialogue until the important bitch show up. <laughs> Some people were, can we throw in the case ideally day that Ben and Max are working together, please? <laughs> I guess I could always do- there's some of this dialogue I definitely cannot read just out of sake for my sanity. We heard a lot about you at the circus, Max. Oh, you must mean from the dinosaurs. How were those Jurassic geriatrics? Okay, so we could talk more about how everybody hates him. Max, you're very popular with the other performers, are you? Yes, 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 sweetie. That's why they call... That's what they call jealousy. Jealousy. They're absolutely jealous of my absolutely fabulous self. People who really understand can see the obvious differences between us. People who really understand. For instance... Hum, so Regina understands him, huh? I hope we talk to her and she's like, Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> I was like, yes, please. I plan on getting- oh my god. She is truly my sweetie. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so- mm -hmm. It's already in the works. <laughs> just giving up. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> When I don't want to read, I'm just gonna hum it out. Oh? Okay, what happened? Yeah, nobody is jealous of you, weirdo. Oh, thank you, hee hee, for the dollar donation. Appreciate ya. And now that was your first uh, super on a live stream. Appreciate ya. He met with the ringmaster on the night of the murder. Yes, I was with him around 10 p.m. Once I was done with practice. We haven't gotten the, like, um, what is it called? I don't know why I can't think of it. Like, the information about, um, whatchamacallit? The information about, like, the crime scene, like, what time it took place and all that. I guess we might get it once we get to the trial. I went to his room right after we finished. They found the ringmaster's body in the plaza in front of the lodging house. Yeah, I heard about that. I, he needed to step out for a bit, so I waited in his room for him to return. Okay, so you also have a really bad alibi. Huh? Sorry, Max. I have something I must attend to right now. Do you mind waiting for me right here? It's pretty cold outside. Got his hair, dude. He's like about to like, I don't know. Like, him and Morgan need to have, like, a hair off. Like, they both have the hugest hair. It's pretty, pretty cold outside. Where's your coat? It's all right. I'll be right back. It should only take about ten minutes. Okay. And then I waited for him. Thought he never came back. Did he go to the plaza where the body was discovered? Possibly the snow had tapered off a bit, but it was still very cold outside. I wonder, honestly, too, if somebody could have killed... Um, Russell somewhere else and then just like placed his body out there. I guess that would make it most likely Mo who did the killing if that was the case. If Mo did this, honestly, Slay, like, I'm. I. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> Slay if Mo. D I don't care who killed Russell. He sucks too. Everybody in this case sucks. <laughs> like, I say Slay besides Regina and Mo so far. Mo seems okay. But I have no idea what he went off to do. Oh my god. Okay, let's go get the stupid ventriloquist puppet and talk to the other, uh... The other P-word. Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. Okay. Oh god, is he with Regina? Regina, run! Run, Regina, please! Oh god, I don't want to see them interacting. At least he can't talk. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. But everyone loved the ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. Okay. Um, 
I want to see Regina again. She's the only character I like in this. <laughs> She's literally the only character I like in this uh, that I like for sure in this uh, case so far. It looks the same as always. A great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went <laughs> to Maya. Such a klepto. Will you just stop it, you poster pifler? Pifflerer? I'm just kidding. You know I already got one of those posters. You mean stole one of those posters. Yeah, um, let's just focus on what Max told us. He said he hid the Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo. Oh yeah, the ventriloquist puppet. Remember, it's called Trillo? Quist? <laughs> Such a cool, great name. So creative. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmasters association, mini golf, beer belly, blah, blah, blah. Wow, the ringmaster has so many talents. Um, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is... I feel like this ventriloquist is creeping me out, too. Save me! Save me, Phoenix! Don't take me back to Ben! I don't like him either! That's Trillo, that's Ben's puppet! A pixel of, of pixel of flow. We must find the culprit to thank them. Seriously. Seriously? It's like honestly, I do want to thank them at this point. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. A ventriloquist puppet, an op operatic tenor who doubles as Ben's sidekick. In creepiness. Why do I have to carry this thing? Okay, it's creepy. It's freaking me out. Okay, um, let's go find what's his face. Would he be in the cafeteria, maybe? Okay. Our trailer says some wacky stuff later on. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Interesting. I like freaking thought Trilla was Eric Cartman. He <laughs> just kind of, yeah, just kind of looked like that. Honestly, it was reminding me of like a Nutcracker. Honestly, when I was looking at him. Oh, hey, Ben! Don't be excited. Hello to you, too. It's awfully cold today. Don't you agree? Yes, um, I do indeed. Please, Maya, step step away. Go outside. I'll talk to him by myself. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Okay, um, let's just show this to him. Ah, Ben, this is yours, isn't it? Yes, that's mine! Here you go! Trillo Quist returned to Ben. All right, Maya, let's get going. This is gonna be such a wacky ass case. <laughs> the fucking, uh, we have like the puppet on uh, on the witness stand. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So, Nick, where are we going next? Let's see, we don't get to talk to him? I wanted to talk to him. Hey, wait, who said that? What kind of voice do I give the puppet now that I think about it? Wasn't there a puppet in, um, crap, which one was it? Ah, oh, it was one of the fan games there was a puppet. Oh, I can't, oh, I think I gave it the ace voice, that's what it was. Oh, and what you looking at? <laughs> no, I don't think that works for, uh, Trillo, though. Uh, crap, I think their puppet was, like, a pirate or something, though. Uh, what would, maybe, like, the, what are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench! I don't know. Oh, or Mana. Oh, Monokuma voice. That would be good. What's your problem anyway? I guess that is kind of the Monokuma voice, actually. Don't you know how to properly greet someone? Um, Ben, is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I, I would never. Oh, he gets this weird fucking, uh, like, anger out through the puppet. New Yorker Monokuma. I was thinking, I was like, I feel like he's gonna have a New Yorker accent. I was like, I don't know if I can do New Yorker Monokuma. It wasn't me! Yeah, me! Down here! You, you're Trillo. That is Mr. Quist to you, sir! Learn some manners before you blurt out my name! Now try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect! Not again. Oh my god. Mr. Quist, is that better? No, look at this! Good god. Look at me when I'm talking to you, you ape an excuse for an attorney! This guy is so... Like... He is... I want to say something. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, he just... He just seems psycho, honestly. He just seems completely insane. He's like one of those quiet kids who's got like the crazy side to him, you know what I mean? I guess at least he's getting his anger out through a, you know, 
puppet rather than violence, but still, he's just a total fucking weirdo. Look at me when I'm talking to you, you ape and excuse for an attorney! Trilla, we talked about insulting people. <laughs> I beat him up! Get him, Trillo! We talked about insulting people. You promised! But he was mocking me! Not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal! I'm sorry, Trillo. Oh, now I can kind of talk more. Nick, what just happened? Trillo is still a puppet, right? And then Trillo was- Hey! Who do you think you are calling me a puppet? Um... <laughs> I was supposed to show him some evidence of him being a puppet? <laughs> um... Would you mind taking a look at this? Or wait, did I just press that? Um, um, I, I, I... Maybe I just pressed something on accident. I guess I don't need you to look at this after all. Okay. What am I supposed to... Okay, I guess I just did press this. Okay, what happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me? <laughs> Don't look at him when you're talking to me! Trello Quest, you behave, you- <laughs> I beat you! I will beat the shit out of you! <laughs> Shut up, Woody! What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? Um, I guess so? No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trello, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? Um, these two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Gramps got clobbered over the head. <laughs> okay, uh, very big circus, I guess. Let me lay it all out for you. The pace sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Your partner, you mean, Ben? At least Trillo's funny. Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. You tell him back off of me, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here. <laughs> oh, oh my. But I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage, masquerading as performers, I found my Madonna. What? <laughs> You're... Oh, oh, Regina. Madonna? Oh, God. Regina, my lovely Regina! <laughs> Roy Bin! Well, I'm not sure if I would go that... I feel like it's like the, you know, like, Trillo's funny, but he's being controlled by Bin, so it's just like, it's all of Bin's internal thoughts, which makes it, he's like... No, Trillo, I'm too old for Regina, but it's like, mm, do you really think that since you're confessing to her through your puppet, which is like the only way you talk, you weirdo? Thank you, Monix. Pay attention to Ben's mouth when Trillo is talking. Oh, interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, I can kind of see him off to the side. Interesting, that's cool. You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand what he speaks of. I, on the other hand, am an appreciative of true beauty. Hence why I shall marry her. Marry? Does she have a say in this? <laughs> you, you're going to marry Regina. That's right, she doesn't quite realize the joy that's a weight set, does she? <laughs> this fucking voice that it's turned into. <laughs> I didn't think I could do like a Brooklyn Monokuma voice, but here we are. I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed troubled. Well, she... I don't care, it's my choice! What the fuck?! I hate everyone in this fucking case! Not hers, we're getting hitched! Jail, electric chair! I know you th See, he's trying- like, he's trying to be like the nice guy, like, No, we can't force a child to marry us! But then he's fucking controlling this, you know, puppet who's saying all this! But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. I have a beautiful singing voice. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. 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 I want you to touch. Oh. Ah! I hate it here so much! Electric chair! Electric chair! <laughs> Electric chair! Oh god, I hurt my head. 
Oh my god. Ugh, it gets worse. It gets worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to vomit. I want to cry. I want to <laughs> The rest is private. <laughs> um, wow, that was a that was definitely a song. Those lyrics I think of, you need to trash them. Who asked you? I'm the artist here! I don't... <laughs> the ringmaster got knocked upside his sheep head by that flying fraud! Ugh, I feel like it kind of does... I kind of hope that Ben did this just so we can see him suffer at least. It's like, hey, I'm not going to see Max suffer. Uh, at least Russell suffered. But can I please have, like... Can I please have Ben suffer too? Can he go to the... <laughs> Can we end the trial with him going to the electric chair, please? <laughs> please? You mean Max Galactico, why do you say that? Trilo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up, I made a wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there? <clears throat> if you're that interested, then I'll let, let you in on my on the facts. Um, um, thanks. And now that Trilo's here... Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally? Hey, butt face! Ah! You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Um... What does that mean? You know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all! I guess it might be too obvious for him to have done this. I feel like, honestly, it might be Mo. Just because I feel like he's... I don't know, I feel like he usually is the witness in these cases. And also, like... I don't know, he's not quite as, like, obvious as this guy. But this guy does hate Russell. He does have reason to want to frame Max. He has reason to want to frame Ma Russell. So, it's just kind of how it is. Trello? Enough jibba jabba, let's get to the court already! At least that voice is fun to do. Ah, hey, wait a second! Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Of course he is. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, what else is there? Can I save Regina? Can I take her far, far away from this place? Um. What in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair of creeps, those two. Oh. Oh, a monkey! Oh no, now what? No wonder Regina only hangs out with the animals. They're the only people with their best interest here. Regina and her tiger and her monkey and all the little animals, they just need to run off somewhere, somewhere nice and happy. Thank you, Aunt Dizzy. I almost punched my screen. I got so mad. I literally lost my mind during that freaking song, dude. It was so gross. Thank you, Monix. Capcom, please provide us with bleach so we can cleanse our eyes and brains after this. I know. For real, dude. Why? Why did they do, like, why did they do this? Like... I don't understand what their thinking was when they made this case. Like, why did they decide to make this love triangle? Why did they make her 16? Like, didn't... Like, what? Why? why? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, he's taking my... No, he's taking my coin! No! Not the coin! Not the badge! No, it's gone! Hey, welcome back, Nick! That... That monkey! No! Oh boy! But no! Not the badge! The monkey stole it! Wow, am I supposed to present it to people? What? Uh, uh, dee. Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute! You looked completely dumbfounded! Regina, we need to get you on a plane to whatever country is farthest away from Japanifornia. Regina! You, that monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? Did you just want it? B but my attorney's badge! Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash- <laughs> How can I show it to every single person I meet? By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey! Okay. His name is Mon- Money? Okay. Can I get my badge back? Monkey, Money the monkey. The monkey is called Money. Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? Do monkeys like shiny things? I feel like that's more of like a crow thing than a uh, than a monkey thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> the reform isn't enough. 
<laughs> Send her to Mexico. Well, I don't know. Mexico is kind of akin with death, I guess. <laughs> so maybe not Mexico. At least in Weeby News streams. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even if I have money problems. Oh? Huh? Whenever money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Ah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, money isn't exactly some someone I am on friendly terms with. Oh, you're not friends with the monkey? It seems like it's kind of nice. At least she has Mo. She called him Uncle, so he can be her dad because he seems okay so far. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Moe's, huh? I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. Okay, I guess I can talk to her. Oh god, what do you think about his creepiness? You mind telling us a bit about Ben? Um, Ben? Uh, who is that? You mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trillo? What do you mean? Hey, she is so head empty. <laughs> hanging around. Well, he was there when Trillo told me that he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you. Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart and he's such a wonderful singer. This girl has been groomed. She has been groomed. I hate it here. I... Leave her alone! Leave her alone! But what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trillo. Like sand through an hourglass are the days of the circus. Do I have to read all this? <laughs> like, <laughs> could I, could I not read any more about this love triangle? Does it at least kind of go down after this next uh, case or whatever? <laughs> Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope, that won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it? Isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trillo both said otherwise. Is she like, these old men can't be serious, are they? I'm literally 16! And she's like, I love him as a friend! That was what I meant, weirdos! I said they asked her for her hand in marriage. Oh, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. Of course, he's like, uh, she has no choice in the matter, I have to ask her father! <laughs> and buy her like a piece of property! Because that's how this thing works. Oh, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her and yeah, not Regina directly. I swear to God, if they get married at the end of this, I'm going to vomit. So I guess Trillo hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go? Neither. Neither. Go. Leave the country. Flee. Wait, wait. Do you realize that Trillo is a puppet? Um... I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait until we hear why she wasn't sad about her dad. Oh Jesus. I bet that's gonna be something for sure. Um, who are we gonna talk to again? I can't remember. Oh, we're gonna talk to Mo. Um, no. Yeah, let, let's get out of here. I can't talk about this anymore. I, <laughs> I need to see Mo. I need to cleanse my senses. Huh, Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Okay, let's talk to Mo. Summer 28th, lodging house, first floor, Mo. Oh my, if it isn't Mr. Right all the time. I said that joke earlier and everybody booed me. Oh God. It's all right to be wrong every now and again, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its off. What? <laughs> oh my god. So what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're going to get the sound effect either way, aren't we? Uh, how'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, Mo, let's talk to you. Regina, please tell me that you're a father figure and you will protect her. Please tell me. Jesus Christ, what did I stumble upon? 
The worst case ever. <laughs> Me being tortured for three hours straight. Oh my god. So what about Regina? Regina is such a pure, innocent child. Yes, thank you! Oh my god, finally somebody calls her what she is, a child. Oh my god, I stand you, Mo. Don't make me regret it. She is such a cutie, too. She was born and raised in the circus, you know. But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly. For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. She sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown. A very funny clown every single day. The funny thing is that all seems normal to her because it is her everyday life. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply without complications. Okay, Money the Monkey. Oh yeah, that's what I was supposed to talk to you about, because he likes, uh, money or whatever. He likes the monkey, or they get along better. Thank you, Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Me getting flash traumatic flashbacks about puppets because of Mickey and Pet Chan <laughs> from Dog and Ralph and Blow. I swear, dude, puppet people are always messed up, dude. <laughs> they really are. Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Oh, uh, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's. He stole my attorney's badge. Well, money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he swiped your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Oh, why is that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Exactly, bravo! Enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to his owner. Where his owner is staying? Oh man, a new character? You mean right now? Of course, shall we go? Um, should we go with him now or wait a while? I'm cool with going now. Because <laughs> I don't want to talk anymore about this creepy ass love triangle. I'm good. I don't hate this case's mystery aspect, but this case is very uncomfortable. Yeah. I haven't, like, some, some of the dialogue I literally haven't even been reading, Brie. I'm just like, mm hmm. Okay, skipping to the next line. <laughs> like, oh god, it's very, very, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Oh, is it smelly? Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh, so hard. Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Okay. Um, that's a big pile of junk over in the corner. Oh, wow. I guess all the shiny things that he's been picking up. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there, too. Guys, I had a brilliant idea. What if the monkey did the murder? <laughs> mind blown. Is your mind blown? Because my mind is blown. Just be careful to make sure you've got the rights. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. See you later. Money the monkey added to the court record. A monkey who takes care of Acro habitually gathers all sorts of shiny objects. Am I even gonna be able to get to the trial today, man? How long is the trial for this, uh, or the first, like, uh, trial for this case? I was thinking about trying to play it today, but man, this has been a very long investigation. I thought it would be over after we talked to, um, What's-His-Face again. You can see the big top from the window here. There is snow on top of the big top. Kind of weird, don't you think? The inside of the tent is warm, so any snow that lands on top of probably melts. I guess you're right. The snow probably just slides right off. Ban Da, da. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror! Everything's shiny! If it can reassure you, the first part of this case is the one that focuses the most on this whole loathe triangle thing. It's barely in the second part. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I was like, thank god! <laughs> That's what I was hoping for at the very least. I was like, hopefully at least they won't talk about it anymore after we get through the case. There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this, it's a trophy and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it! It's your badge! It's right here! Okay, nice. Attorney's badge! It's my all-important badge! It shows that I am a defense attorney. Thanks, you really saved me. Huh? Um, what's the matter? Did you find something? Oh. Yeah, check this out. Oh, one of the rings? It's- it's a ring! There's something engraved on it from T to R. T- who's T? Oh, Trillo, I guess? Trillo to R. 
Okay, because yeah, I was like, there's Max, and then his name, Billy Bob, and then Ben, so T would be the only one that it would uh, make sense. <laughs> well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. That's good. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. <laughs> the freaking puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've still got our magician on our side. Okay, let's go. The investigation's almost over then. Because I was just like, man, are we about to meet another person and investigate more? I was like, we uh, we got a lot, dude. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Nice! I don't like half the characters do like, why would I get invested? Or so I like, why I get invested? I skip the summer time. <laughs> it is very uncomfortable. Good morning, Max. I feel like the mystery aspect is pretty interesting, but yeah, the love triangle stuff is just really, really uncomfortable. Max! Milk? What? What? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie! Um, stage? This is a trial, dude. <laughs> this is not a stage. Let me make sure. Like, uh. Someone's got like a protein shake, like a mustache. <laughs> just gonna make sure I don't have that. Stage? Don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick. Max is really nervous. That's understandable. He definitely seems guilty and if he's if he's not guilty of the murder, he's guilty of some other really gross stuff. What? You don't think I should fly, do you? Huh? You know, you've got to make a good first imp This guy's so stupid. When I enter a room, maybe I should fly in and warm the crowd up a little bit. No, 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 no. Princess guy, no, at least we have her. Uh, at least she's in this case to save me. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It wouldn't be right. Also, it might uh, make you look even more suspicious because of the lack of footprints. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? Oh, my God. <laughs> I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying fabulously in from above. One glimpse of that and everyone in the room will be on your side. He is so stupid. Max, really, no one needs to... Can you just shut the hell up for like two seconds? Oh my god, yes, Francisca. Can she whip all of them? Please, Francisca, whip them all. Beat the crap out of them. At least if they don't go to jail, they can at least get whipped by her. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer. <laughs> Flying fabulously. Don't let him get to you, Nick. December 29th. Okay. At least we have Francisca. <laughs> now the case of one. Oh, oh god, no, she's back! Your honor, get on with it! Oh, so it's already first. <laughs> this barely even started, she's already whipped the judge. Oh, sorry, I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Johns. So, well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, your honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a huge- No, don't let your grandchild near. Don't let it- Don't let them near, Maximilian. My grandchild's a huge fan of his. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. Um, I wonder if that is to our advantage? At least we have a celebrity client. I was like, it, it might help us to have a celebrity client at this point to like kind of- you know, get the jury on our side, but I don't actually want the jury on our side. I want him to pay. Miss Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. I hope you don't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix, right? I love how she does that. Huh? That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refused. Oh my god, girl, seriously? I still think that girl over there, Maya, was her name. She's a murderer in my eyes. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. Well, good for you, I guess. It did not count. Do you hear me? <laughs> she must still be upset about what happened last time. 
Okay, just live in the Lulu land, girl. You have no chance. Zero. Zero to nada. I'm not losing this case. Why? Why you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose at anything. I already beat you and your dad. <laughs> I guess being born with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Uh, me? I'm not guilty! Oh yes, you got him again! <laughs> it will be my ultimate revenge! Um, but it's not like it'll bring your dad back. There. Opening statement complete. Now let's hurry and wrap this waste of time up. Convict him! I'm with you, girl! Let's go ahead and convict Max! Send his ass to prison! Electric chair! Electric chair! I'm like, no. I want to say, Your Honor, I agree with everything she says and slay. <laughs> Very well, you may call your first witness, Miss Von Gama. Defend Detective Dick Gumshul. Get up there now! Now! I'm scared! Sorry to keep you from work, and I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, detective. Don't mention that, it's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> no, you haven't. Very well, I would like to begin my shedding by shedding light on the event in position, in question. At your service, sir. All right, detective, you may proceed with your testimony. Okay. Oh, man. There we go. Just want to finish my protein shake. Details of the event. The night of the crime. Snow has fallen until 9.40 p.m. Making it extremely cold out. All the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. Okay. Actually getting all the uh, details. The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a- Why am I make- Why am I making him <laughs> Brooklyn now? Dead as a doornail. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. I guess he's always been like a little, uh, New Yorker, but I think that puppet's making me <laughs> more New Yorker than normal. I see he was beaten to death. Here's the autopsy report of the victim. Here we go. The court accepts this into evidence. That's what I was looking for. Time of death, 10 15 p.m. Cause blunt trauma to the back of the head. Contusion of the octopus. A blunt object, hum. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Ah, oh, it's so nice to see the wholesome characters again. <laughs> Electric chair. <laughs> Electric chair. <laughs> I'm happy y'all are with me on this. Not a crime. Snow has fallen until around 9.40 p.m. Make it extremely cold out. Eh, let's just go ahead and start pressing everything. Time to blue badger the witness. Let me ask you about the snow. <laughs> it was a nearly... It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Um, the snow. Let me see, there's gotta be more to this. Um, what's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? Okay. Let's see. Um. So there was something weird about the snow? Let me, uh, look at this. I was like, I feel like that looks like an inch and a half or whatever he said. I might have to press that one again. I don't know if I totally understand the relevance of it so far. Time of death. <laughs> Gumshoe was born and raised in Brookio. <laughs> oh wait, let me um, let me press this again. I'm not totally sure if I understood why he stopped on that. I ask you about the snow. Maybe a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Paul, it wasn't much a big deal. Maybe about an inch and half was on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Snow. Okay, so the fact that it froze, so there shouldn't have been like footprints because it was like too hard to make footprints? What's the matter, Nick? Let me take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe! Is that it? Huh. Okay, I might save and try that, I guess? Well, it kind of seems important, but I don't know. I was like, is that really it? I feel like there are times that, like, you know, snow, like, freezes over the point where, like, uh, you know, you can't actually leave footprints. I mean, he definitely did die that night. 
Thank you, Lazy Mio. Do you think Gumshoe Hagakure and Fubuki would be able to figure out the true culprit in a class trial in three days? Ah, uh, probably not. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. Maybe if we throw a Roha in there too. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, maybe I should press some more stuff. I can't tell. When you say all the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and the staff were there. Regina the Animal Tamer, Mo the Clown, Ben the Ventriloquist, and of course, the defendant Maximilian Galactica and his victim, the Ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot, Regi Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? When I was in the investigation yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Oh yeah, he had the, he had the off-brand wristwatch we found. Detective, you are welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. The practice session broke around 10 p.m. Murder itself took place in the plaza, 10.15. Victim was found bent over a wooden box now. Okay, I might try it just cause I don't know, like, why is he, why is he making it seem like, uh, snow is falling? Well, actually, but there's not really anything we can refute, though, this time. Uh, let me just press some other stuff, just in case. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with Regent while Mo went back to his room, tired from work. Ben the ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. That sounds like he did it. The ringmaster and Max went off to ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? It seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max... No, <laughs> Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. Gross. The murder itself took place in the lodging area. I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15 p.m. Um, um, okay, not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us the whole thing went- Oh god, oh no! <laughs> this is totally meaningless, time to move on! I thought it was important! Oh, um, alright, we'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? The victim was found a bent over, wooden box dead at the door now. A wooden box. That's right. Yeah, what is, we never even established what was in the box. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. Do we know what's inside of it? What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked, not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? Okay, the victim was hunched over this 20-pound box. It boasts a small but strong lock. Okay, so we don't know what's inside of it yet. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. About the wooden box, yeah. Let's just- I'll probably just try to cycle through everything. I think it usually, uh, lets me do that, right? This wooden box, you figure it weighs about 20 pounds, right? Sounds about right. The whole thing is lined with iron. Iron plating? Why do you think it's lined with iron? Yeah, what the hell is in it? I figure they just did it to make the box- OH GOD! <laughs> Again? I think we could all do without your detect- with your guesses, detective. Stick to what little you actually know. Sorry, suffice to say, the box is really heavy. Much better, you may continue on, detective. Okay. Cause of death, let me try this one some more. Da 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 I just have to clean this case from my memory. You and me both, man. You and me both. Okay, about the lock? You said the box was locked. How exactly was it locked? Well, it had quite a sturdy lock on it. It looks quite a bit to... It took quite a bit to open up the... Open the bad boy up. Okay, so they did open it. So, when you found the box, it was locked, correct? Yeah, it was. Some of the forensics teams took it back to the precinct to crack it open. I see! Continue, Detective Gumshoe. Okay, that was it. Okay, try it again. 71 whips, man. I kinda wonder what she's gonna get to by the end of this game. I feel like 200 is my guess. Cause I feel like if she's in the last- if she's in the last case, I feel like she'll do the most whipping then. Do you mind telling us what was inside the box? I feel like she whips more when she gets, like, frustrated, and the more she loses, I think the more frustrated she'll get. Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Ford Knox, so we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. The fuck? Is it poison that he was gonna feed to Ben and Max? Because if not, I don't really care. <laughs> bottle, what is that, detective? Exactly what it looks like, your honor. 
It's a condiment bottle. What the? What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that big box? There was only one little bottle in that huge box? That seems kind of weird. I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. Hmm. Inside the wooden box, the victim was hunched over. It contains pepper. <laughs> like, it almost makes me feel like there's like a trap door or something in the box that contains what's at what he was actually like trying to hide in there. Cause of death was blunt force trauma, contusion of the octopus. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police the police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, 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 I bet he made it disappear with magic! Oh! Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. Oh, this is one of the ones where we don't actually press anything. I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean all we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? I think we got more out of him than normal, honestly. Not that we've wrapped up the Woody Detective. I'd like to call my next witness. I'm not even off the stand yet! Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. Uh I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Why can't they make Regina 19? I know. I don't really, like, I don't understand. If they wanted to do a love triangle, like, I would still think Ben was creepy and stuff. And I would honestly probably, I would still think Max was creepy too. But that would be a lot easier to help. <laughs> if she was 19 or 20. Like, what was the point of making her a child? Thank you very much, Gumshoe. You may step down. Miss Von Karma, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin the Woodman to the stand. She must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I wonder if Trillo will show up to the stand as well. Oh, for sure. At least the Trillo voice is fun. <laughs> I do enjoy doing the, the Brooklyn Monokuma. <laughs> Even though it probably sounds like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> My full name is Triloquist. I'm employed as an operatic, operatic dinner. Excuse me? The witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, ventriloquist. That robe must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine. I'll grease. Oh God, please, hell no. I'll grease you with a song. A him, me, 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 me. The world of the law, exciting and daring, guilt or innocence, decided by judge, dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus. Um, it was definitely a song. Uh, it's better than the last one, I guess. It leaves something to be desired, as to speak. Trello, you know better than to insult. You don't even deserve the Teruya voice, Ben. You know, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up, just look at your nose. You would think you'd have the sense to fix it. It's so ugly, I wanna punch you in the face off the chance swelling would help. You know what your nose is? The reason you'll never be an A-list star. <laughs> but do you ever have any hope of being an A-list star? <laughs> Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their mind. What's going on here? Order, order, I demand to know who the witness is! Don't worry, don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trillo handle this. I'm not worried about you. I'm wor oh god! <laughs> I am a little worried about you. You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Le now let's proceed! Don't question it, just let it happen. What you witnessed. Once practice was over, I left the tent with a stooge, I mean clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. Okay. That's when I saw him. Oh! <laughs> Gave him the shock face. <laughs> That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. <laughs> crime. He was the only one heading that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took a magic boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene. You're sure of that? 
Without a doubt, he had on his silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white roses on his chest. You can... You can... Uh, how can you mistake someone with that crazy get-up and his nose stuck up so high? That's enough. I think we all get the picture. Did he have his hat with him? Or we? I think we found it at the scene of the crime. Yeah, but I don't know if he, like, lost it or if we really, you know, talked about uh, losing it. I know this trial is really making Mitch look like... <laughs> Tolerable. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. Well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Um, he's got a point. No, not Mo. He's the only one I like besides Regina. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. What's that? He is an absolute proof. Oh, silk hat. This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Ah. Oh. Without question, he was wearing the, his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for that hat to be at the scene. Um. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Your prosecutor, prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. I miss Canadian. Y'all missing Canadian. <laughs> Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Okay, I guess she's the boss again today. Can we please have Polly back as a witness instead? I agree, Monix. I miss Polly. Now, Polly, that was... That was a girl boss. I loved Polly. Once practice was over, I left the tent with a stooge. I mean, the clown. <laughs> I'm dying at y'all missing Kanade. Thank you, Monix, for the donation. Appreciate ya. The clown, you're talking about Mo. Of course I'm talking about that old fawn. He's so pathetic, I can't stand him. Just a bit of exercise and his makeup is written all over the place. So yeah, this is so Ben also, Ben hates everybody. So, once practice was over, he was nine tenths of the way to kneeling over for good. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. Okay. When it comes to being a first place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack. Don't you dare disrespect Mo. Ugh, but that's... Then what happened? You know, I miss Blue Badger. <laughs> I miss Blue Badger, that's how bad it is. Then what happened? Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. That's just Blue Badger him. Well, the plaza's entrance. To do some thinking, of course! It was awfully cold out that night, especially with all the snow around. Wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a better idea? <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. But I'm a good bunker, at least my teachers always said I was. It's okay, Phoenix, you tried. That's when I saw Max, Max heading towards the scene of the quan- quan- I don't know why. Why do I keep saying quime? <laughs> quime! Crime! <laughs> Making me talk like a baby now! Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? It definitely seemed like it. Of course I'm sure! How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece get-up? Snobby three-piece get-up. Get the wax out of your ears. Liars nowadays. You're all talking... You like talking to a brick wall! Max's three-piece get-up. Jeez, could you be any more dense? All together now! Silk hat! Cloak! White roses! Okay, silk hat, cloak, white roses. I'm gonna make sure. I feel like maybe the white roses he might not have. I feel like there's gotta be something, uh, something with that. Thank you, Nick. I think you should put a bit more effort into pre preparing your questions. Shut up, Maya. He was the only one heading that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Edgeworth, I know. I wish Edgeworth could save us. You saw Max and only Max, right, Trillo? That's right. And that makes him the killer. It was only one person head that way that night. Um, that makes quite a bit of sense. It makes Max one suspicious character. There's more to the story than meets the eye. There's something amiss in this. No problems. There's proof it was... There's no proof it was Max. Ben only saw Max. I mean, he's just gonna say, Oh, but I saw him, though! And there is kind of proof of the hat being at the crime scene, so I'll go with this one. That's a bit strange, don't you think? What's strange? That you only saw Max. 
Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? Yeah, like the victim. What? Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Who else do you suppose the witness should have seen? Oh, god dang it. <laughs> god dang it! Um, not the monkey, right? <laughs> hey, why isn't the monkey in profiles? This is... That's mean. Why you put him in the evidence section? He should have his own profile. I was thinking the victim. I don't know if this is right, though. We'll see, though. Take that! Take that! That's the victim! That's correct! If Trillo was at the entrance to the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well! Oh god! Obviously the ringmaster arrived to see the crime before the witness, but we have... I guess, you know, what's his face is Max. I guess he's not very reliable. His eyewitness saying he left, like, I don't know, like, at 10 or something. You know, something could have seen him. Anyone with sins could have figured that one out. What are you talking about? The ringmaster and Max went together to the ringmaster's room. Yeah. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. I figured she'd probably pull that. If Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the ringmaster's room, why was he just as the witness stated at the scene of the crime? Somebody's lying. Ugh. I see. It seems at this stage... At this stage, I have no reason to doubt the witness's testimony. Ugh, disgusting, Phoenix. And there are clearly no conclusive contradictions. He's right. And I screw up. A brilliant judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Um, Trillo wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max. Oh, would he? That's crazy. Well, Max is part of that creepy love triangle with Regina. Which is probably why Max cocked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Um, yeah, I think so. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Shit's so weird. <laughs> What's practice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this trial's so fucking weird. <laughs> this trial's so fucking weird. And then we go back to the puppet. Once practice was over, I left the tent with a stooge. I mean, clown. Okay, so this is back at the beginning. Lodge in the plazas, blah, blah, blah. How could that punk not be the killer? But then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Um, I suppose that would have been around... Hey, what time was it? Huh? Um, I think it was around a bit after 10.30 p.m., I think. Okay. 10.30 p.m. I'm like, is there any weird discrepancies with that? Actually, let me go this way. 10.15. Nah, not really. I feel like, would they have used the wooden box as the murder weapon? That is heavy enough to knock him over with, you know? I think there might be, like, blood or something on it, though. I guess it's the only weird thing. Practice ended at 10, so you hung around the lodging house the entire time. I, I guess that sounds about right. Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Yeah, for real. Well, um, the truth is... Will you shut up, you big-nosed dupe? Why are you telling him anything extra? <laughs> we don't need him to know about our, cr our crime! Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in that weather? Well, maybe you were waiting for someone. What? Who said we were waiting for someone? Putting words in my mouth? <laughs> Mr. Phoenix, right? We can do all without your offhanded theories. But this is- this witness, he's cracking under the pressure already. I'm on to something. Uh, Mr. Wright. Oh, God. What do you suppose- who do you suppose the witness was waiting for out in that cold night? Uh, probably Regina, right? Uh... If I had to guess, uh, more creepy dialogue, I'm assuming, is gonna come. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. Why can't we convict them <laughs> of being in P words? I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word on YouTube. And one person only, he was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. What? <laughs> you were waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? Is this true? Well, I, um, you can't really ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for that night? What's important is what I saw. Don't you forget it. Well, 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 the puppet may be a bit stiff. It's like, don't let them know. 
<laughs> Don't let the judge know that I'm a predator, Ben. You're saying too much. He's not supposed to know that. No wonder I wanted him to shut up. Well, the puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Um. All right. There's obviously a reason why this witness was there that night. We spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive, and she did not arrive because she doesn't give a shit about you and she needs to move across the country. Wherever. Even if someone else would have walked right in front of him. I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Ah! <laughs> Lord. <laughs> that sprite. Oh, yeah. What did you just say? She whipped him. The witness saw the defendant at the scene of the crime. However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that... He could have missed someone other than Max had- OH GOD! <laughs> Again, there is absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um, um, I guess you got me. Alright, alright, I'll spill the beans for real this time! It's true, I was waiting for Regina. Uh, pain! Yes, Von Karma, whip him! Whip him, whip him! <laughs> Don't volunteer things! Mr. Quist, tell us the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. Were you or were you not waiting for Regina at the entrance to the lodging house? I was. I was. Oh God. Jesus Christ. Can we convict? Can we put this guy in prison now? <laughs> oh, God. What's the matter? You think that humans have a monopoly on marriage? That the matter of the, I'm more concerned about the age gap. Thank you, mannequin. Stop hating on my boy, Ben. I will never stop hating on Ben. It's all Trillo's fault. Mm. <laughs> I feel like it's all Ben's fault, honestly. Because he's the one who controls Trillo. So he's the creepy one. He's making him say all this stuff. I'm sorry. I, I gotta hate on Ben. I gotta hate on Ben. And I don't think I'll ever stop hating on Ben. <laughs> to be honest. To be, to be honest. That's a, that the matter of the puppet marriage is not under review of this case. Oh, wait, let me, um... You're the judge! I mean, look at your horrible outfit! Morp... Morpe... Yes, Karma! Get him! Oh, but thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore! Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. Okay, more witness testimony. About the... yeah. <laughs> Don't be surprised that I was going to... <laughs> I even had something to give to her. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. I guess uh, we got the ring. I guess we'll use that. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it in my pocket. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> oh, thank God. We can end this quickly. You were going to propose a puppet. Don't be so obtuse! Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love it! Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe I should have just skipped this trial! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like, oh god! The judge, too? I mean, I always, I never really liked the judge to begin with. I want to see other people's reactions to this trial. I want to see Nico's reaction to it and Blake. Like, this is so upsetting and uncomfortable. Like, what the? Oh, my God. And it's like intruding on the character, like the old characters, too. Uh, don't. You guys read it. You guys know how to read. I don't have to read it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, his honorable is looking like a total fucking creep right now. Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with the cross-examination. What was that sigh at the end? Maya, I need to get you out of here. Japanifornia is not safe. <laughs> this place is not safe. <laughs> it's not fucking safe. Okay, let me, um... <laughs> let me get out of here. You know, maybe... <laughs> What did I say at the beginning? I was like, if I can't have Ace Attorney at its worst and I don't deserve it at its best, I changed my mind. I just deserve its best. <laughs> I shouldn't have to suffer through this. I shouldn't have to suffer through this. Had something to get to. 
kids in my pocket for the chance to propose. Of course, it has a present in the end. I still got it in my pocket. Fuck off. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Let's get your stupid cheap ass ring and throw it in your face. Your honor, that statement. Oh, god dang it. Do I have to? Oh, I gotta talk to him more. Damn it. I don't want to talk to him more. <laughs> no. Damn it. Oh, god. I was gonna propose that I had something to give up. <laughs> what if I told you it was 16 and a half? Is that better? No. No, it's not better. Not at all. What was it? What was it exactly that you planned on giving her? You know exactly what I was gonna give a numbskull. Only thing I could find that could match Regina's beauty. Answer the question. What was it? You're gonna die when you hear this. Oh my god! Engagement ring! Wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs. Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far. Time for this to end. Please end it for me. End it for me. <laughs> end it for me. Put this to end right here. Francisca's whip looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. One from that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. Pain equals bad. Push on it. We're pushing on, man. We're pushing on anyways. Oh, thank God you're kidding. I was like, <laughs> I, was like I feel like you're probably kidding, but I just want to make sure. <laughs> thank God. Push on anyways. Maybe it's something of a joke, but it's a historic moment. The first time a puppet has ever proposed- Oh god! Oh god! I advise you to cut this argument short. I'm gonna have to ignore- agree with the defense here. Will the witness please revive the- revise their testimony? Specifically about the engagement ring. I'd like to stick to the facts, not sociology. You sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe. I plan on giving the engagement ring to Regina. Okay, let me... I guess I gotta press on. An engagement ring! Uh-huh, it's actually a diamond-shaped stone cut from glass. Even more brilliant than the real... <laughs> it's not, it's just glass. I think Regina's gonna love it! It's just a ring. What's the matter, Nick? Well, there's gotta be something I can catch him on. I like I know what it is. Why do I have to keep talking to him? <laughs> Cheap ring with an eerie sparkle. Have we talked to him enough? It's made out of glass. This is made out of glass. <laughs> right, we're, we're good. We don't have to talk to him anymore. It's gotta be something I can catch him on. I kept in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose. Whose pocket was the ring in? Mine, of course! What a stupid question! Do you have a pocket? You gotta be kidding me! You think Ben could pull that off? I think it's just so weird too that like the huge elephant in the room is the fact that she's 16 and Ben's fucking 31. And then same with Max. How old is he again? Like 21 or something? They're both creeps and like Ben, okay, so like literally Ben is controlling a puppet to propose to a child. And then the thing that everybody is hung up on in the court case is the fact that it's a puppet. Like that's what the like that's what they're hung up on. I feel like that like it's just extra irksome to me. They're like, a puppet? Like, mm, is that really the, the, the bad part here? <laughs> is that really the issue here? Thank you, Leo's Productions. Shu Takumi was apparently drunk when, it, I can tell. <laughs> I was like, was he on some other stuff when he wrote this? I was like, what else was he on? And I get, I don't know, oh man. I'm so sorry, really, shut the fuck up, man. You don't have to apologize for that. He's the one who should be apologizing. Really? Okay. Hey, my pocket, it was a present for... Wait, I already do this? So you went to the lodging house to give it to her. That's right, I tried to give it to her during practice, but I lost count. That uppity snob kept getting in the way. Uppity... Um, wait, Max? Uppity snob, he couldn't possibly talk about me! I was like, I forgot who that was! <laughs> Maximilian! When I got a hold of him, I'm gonna saw his wood block in half, not with magic! Um, uh, well, they always say that love creates rivalry. <laughs> this is not making you look better, dude. So, what about this present? Okay. So, in the end, I wasn't able to give it to so I've still got it in my pocket now. Let me just go ahead and hold this in case I need to. Because, yeah, I was like, it didn't accept the ring last time. I was like, it definitely gotta be that. <laughs> so, you're still thinking of trying to give it to Regina. 
Of course I am! I spent three months' salary on this thing! On a glass ring? I'm not gonna give up that easily! Um, I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Probably way more than he deserves. <laughs> yeah. How about it, Nick? I think it's about time to unwrap this toy's testimony. If that's the spirit, give him heck! The judge has that dazed and confused look again. Maybe he should get... Maybe he should get out more. Okay, let me just save again, just in case. Plan to give it to Regina. I've still got it in my pocket right now! <laughs> okay, here it is. Objection! Objection! Trillo, do you mind if I show you something? What is it? Oh, what is it? What are you talking about? Uh, looks like they're going to double team me now. That's gonna be kind of weird with both of them talking. Do you recognize this ring? Ah, oh, that's- that's- that's mine! Give it back! Thief! Thief! Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Why then do I have it right here? Ah! He can stay that way. He can stay completely <laughs> blown up like that. I'm cool with that. What is going on here? That's- that's- Finn, say something! I uh, don't put- don't put me on the spot like that, Trillo! I found this in Money's room. Money's room? You mean a room they put money like a bank vault? Just, sh can you whip him, Francesca? I don't want to hear anything from him. How that filthy monkey is gonna get what's coming to him? Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you avoided slandering innocent fiats in my court. Well, your honor, money really is a monkey. And every, literally a monkey. I see, well then, continue, I guess. Money likes to go after the shiniest things that he can find and gather them up. Shiny things! Oh wow, next case might be a fave in the whole trilogy. Oh wow, lots of people like the next one. Trillo! When was this ring stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was. That time, you know? That night. I don't have no problem with the characters being creepy because it's kind of fun and interesting to have a cast that are just kind of bad people. I think, like, because, like, I, you know, have watched stuff where, like, characters are bad people, but, like, what I don't like about this is that they don't acknowledge it. It's like they normalize it by not making any comments about how Ben is a creep or how, like, um, what's-his-face is a creep. And it's, like, probably that, like, oh, the district, this takes place in the age of consent is really young but it doesn't make it any less wrong in my opinion I don't care what the age of consent is and whatever district they're in I still think it's creepy as hell and it's just the fact that nobody's like even making like even if I lived in that district I would be like why is a 30 year old man <laughs> trying to propose to a 16 year old why is a 21 year old trying to propose to a 16 year old I would still have problems with it it's like I get that's why they're like not acknowledging it and they're acting like it's perfectly normal but it's like it's not <laughs> it's not no like I think that's what makes me mad I don't get like I don't mind it if characters are bad people and stuff but I don't like that it normalizes it and it completely goes over how wrong it is that's what like is making me so frustrated like so so frustrated especially with the whole stupid puppet thing where there's like what a puppet it's like that's not the that's not the issue <laughs> how do you not see that that's not the issue oh my god <laughs> okay a little a little rant time i just gonna give a rant <laughs> i ran about that this trial is very un uh, like un uncomfortable yeah that time. Oh, wait, who's talking? That time. You know that night, the night of the crime. What did you just say? Details. I need more details. Well, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the plaza. It... So wait, you knew it was stolen, but you didn't say anything? I guess a Trillo didn't know it was stolen. <laughs> right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Uh, well, um, I guess might, um, be able to say that. The ring might have, well, it could have been taken around that time. Okay. Oh, uh, so that's why they didn't see the other guy. Ah! <laughs> Peter, yes! Slay, money, slay! Just take him out! Just kill him! Just kill him right where he stands! Ben, what's with you? Oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything, especially not to who committed the murder. 
It's not for you to decide. What has to do with what? Now, Trillo, back to the topic at hand. Haven't admitted a thing, not I, Mr. Trilloquist. What did you do when the ring was taken, Trillo? You know exactly what I did. I chased after that ring, snatching monkey money. Okay. So you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? So you barely even witnessed anything. I know, right? Oh, I love money. We stand money. Slay, King, slay. It's all this slow, loafy fool called Vin's fault. While he was fumbling his way through the snow, that dumb monkey was able to get away. That is indeed an incredible shame. This is indeed prove one very important point. Prove an important point. What point could that possibly be? Ben doesn't ex- yeah, Ben's testimony has a flaw. Ben doesn't exercise enough. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll save just in case, but I think that's probably it. <laughs> it's like the other one's kind of stupid. Ben's testimony has a flaw. There is a huge contradiction in this witness's testimony. Contradiction! The witness just testified to the following effect. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. However, the witness just stated that he chased after Money the Monkey. When the witness was off chasing Money, there was no one watching the plaza. What is the meaning of all this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Where are you going with this little theory of yours? I'm saying that there is no possible way that this witness saw the plaza the entire time. Yeah, for real. He could have just seen somebody dressed up as Max anyways, honestly. Because somebody was like trying to like, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, like, um, pretend to be Max. They, like, the person who did this obviously wanted to frame Max. They hate Max for whatever reason. Well, he is a douche and a creep, so I get it. <laughs> like, honestly, I get why they want why they want to frame Max. Honestly, I'm with them. But yeah, it makes sense they would just dress up as Max. He didn't have his hat on in that picture that he saw. Well, I guess he might have had it on the table, but the picture we saw with him with Russell before Russell left to get killed, he didn't have the hat on, so... I think somebody could have taken the hat and then, um, you know, like, that was why they were able to take it or whatever. So he stole it and took it on and blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Monix. I missed the me before witnessing this sick love triangle. I could have lived my entire life without being exposed. <laughs> this was not what I expected when people were talking about this trial being controversial. I thought it was just going to be dumb. I didn't know it was going to be so uncomfortable. Yeah. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Interesting, but so- oh god. Well then, tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past this vigilant ventriloquist? Do I? I don't know. <laughs> Let me double check. Do I? Something slipped past- <laughs> Vigilant! I don't know if that's really uh, quite the word that I would use for it. And we also know that he didn't see the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, not the Big Berry Circus. We know they didn't see the victim, so I feel like that's already kind of proof, as it is. Objection! Objection! Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh. Look at her. How do I screenshot this again? It's like F. God dang it. I was like, I can't remember. I screenshot <laughs> I screenshotted Edward one time. She is so pretty. Oh god, I love you, Karma. The witness is lying. He is blinded by his rivalry with Max. Well, the defense's argument does hold water. This witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What how dare you? I wouldn't lie to just get that dog face in trouble. He's not even worth it. I saw him, no doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's flesh out exactly who you saw on that night. I've told you so many times. So you think you know my story's not changing. Yeah, literally all the defining character traits of like a Max that he saw were just things that they could pick up, like the cape, the hat, the flowers. So he probably did just see somebody else. Does that mean that he didn't do it though? If he did just get tricked and see somebody else, man, I want him to do it so that he can go to jail. <laughs> I want one of the people I dislike to get convicted. You've already changed your story, stick boy, and I'm sure it will change some more. Where, where there is one lie, there are usually many more behind it. Exactly, Maya. That's why we have to keep after him. Yeah. 
Witnessing Max. I'll give you that I was waiting that night for Regina, but that doesn't change the fact I saw Max in the plaza at night. He showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. Yeah, totally somebody different. Oh my god, it's Gray Man. Oh, actually, okay, they kind of got lipstick on. Okay, Slay. Who is this? Oh my god, who is she? <laughs> they got some lipstick on. Okay, Slay. Honestly, whoever slayed Russell, I support you. I stand you. Actually, I don't stand you if you're Ben. There's not. I stand you if you're Mo or Regina. <laughs> oh, man. That lipstick do be looking, do be looking very slay though. That's how you know this person was about to a slay. I'm actually sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the scene. Oh no. Oh, don't you love it when you try joining with Super Chat and the message doesn't go through? It happened last week too. At least my bank refunds me later, but still. Oh, that's so weird. I never heard of that happening before. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the, uh, what's up with that. I guess it could be like some kind of problem with YouTube. Maybe if it's like an app or something. If you're on like an app, maybe like you have to update it or something. I don't know, YouTube has been trying to like change stuff recently, so it could be just like a glitch that they have. That sucks though. Sorry that I didn't, didn't get to see those messages. There's no way I could mistake someone away on those three ridiculous symbols. Um. So that means that money Oh, yeah. So that means that the money didn't show up until after you saw Max. That's right. Money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. The money snatched the ring and you went chasing after him. How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I'd say about... I suppose five minutes, I think. So the victim could have arrived on the scene in that five-minute stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. Okay, I guess we just start pressing everything. <laughs> no, Weeby's not- <laughs> Hey, Weeby, enjoy <laughs> the mnemonics. No. <laughs> it's definitely a trial. It's definitely a trial that is happening. <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if enjoying would be the right word. <laughs> I'll give you that I was waiting that night for Regina, but that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max at the plaza that night. He showed up after- oh yeah, I can just start pressing, I couldn't remember. Okay, I was giving- I don't, I'm good, we don't need to see any- I don't want to hear anything else about them creeping on Regina. That doesn't change the fact I saw Max. I don't know how to prove that this was not Max. Cause I mean like, I feel like that's kind of what it- Like, I feel like that's probably what it wants me to do is like, it's not Max because it's just like items of clothing. Anybody can wear items of clothing. Oh god, is it gonna be like Mo was pretending to be Max and he was like walking on stilts to like pretend to be taller maybe? Something like that. I could definitely see that. The most tragic stream. What was that thing in Danganronpa? The most tragic, most despair inducing, most um, something I can't remember. So you saw Max coming out of the big top that night. Of course it's where I saw him coming from. I was standing at the entrance of the tent the entire time. Yes, yeah, that makes sense, especially since he was waiting for Regina. He showed up after I had been waiting there for five minutes. Okay, showed up there after... About what time would you say these events took place? The biggest, most awful, that's what it was. The biggest, most awful, most despair-inducing. <laughs> You're one of the dumbest people on the planet if you can't figure it out yourself. You already know that practice finished promptly at 10 p.m. And you already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know around what time it was when I saw him. Just add 10 more minutes, I'm sure you can do that. Now what time was that? Was that like 10, 15? Then that was when the murder happened. Indeed, what time was it? Um, what time was it? Let me think about that for a second. <laughs> oh God, I'm not good at math, okay? It was 10, 10 p.m. Okay, so it was like five minutes before it happened then? That's not really like a too bad of a contradiction now. Oh yes, that sounds about right. It sounds about right because that's the time I saw Ma Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Hiccup. Max on the scene! You know, weird noise there. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence, the dick! 
So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. You must enjoy asking incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I'd say good night to someone at night. What, Ben? You got something to add? Oh, that's sussy. Let me guess, that's not it, Trillo. You said good evening at night. I'm sorry, Trillo. Okay, maybe something like that. Mr. Quist, if you I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside the courtroom. Impossible! A performer lives and breathes his performance! You should know better! There's gotta be something wrong with this bit of testimony. Trillo's evening greeting, Ben's half of the comedy act. Uh, maybe that? Maybe the last one? I don't know. I don't know why it really matters if he says good evening versus... I mean, evening's more like 6 p.m., right? <laughs> I'll just do Ben. We'll do Benny boy. I hate to say it, but Ben's part of your little act is coming off a bit stale. I'm sure that the pro was to review your work. You- Oh, God! <laughs> You're not trying to pass yourself off as a professional performer, are you? That was not what I meant, man. <laughs> Don't get yourself so wrapped up in yourself, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh, uh, you should know better! <laughs> Damn two in a row! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God, better! <laughs> Holy crap, we're really adding to our whip count with that one. That should have set him straight. You may proceed. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I got it wrong just to see that scene. I'm absolutely sure. Okay, let me uh, try to question this again. <laughs> Since I apparently didn't <laughs> choose the right answer. Okay. Okay, nothing special. Trillo's evening greeting. <laughs> So many in a row. Isn't it a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? That is true, too. It's like, I don't know, just kind of like performers, like, uh, um, whatchamacallit? Performer, like, what would be the word for? Hospitality. It's like performer hospitality or something. If you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. Why would I? It strike you as strange! Exactly! Let me strike you so you can figure out what strike means! How is it strange to be cordial with one of your co-workers? Well, if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. Oh god, that hurt! Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time! Proof is everything in this world! You should have learned that back in grade school. Uh, I guess we gotta establish the fucking love triangle. There's no reason that Trilla would ever say something nice to Max. How do I go about proving that with the evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world, but I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. The witness will resume his testimony. Okay, there's gotta be a spot where I can bring up the glass bottle and all that. I'm absolutely sure it was Maximilian! We're 100% absolutely sure of what you just said. I told you already, jeez, I'm absolutely 100% sure! There's no way that he could have been any more confident than that, right? Okay, there's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Those three ridiculous symbols, huh? Out of curiosity, exactly how many times have you asked that question by now? If you're gonna ask, I'll answer with a chorus. Everyone together now! Silk hat, clone white roses! Thank you very much! Maya, you didn't have to join- <laughs> Maya, don't join in with him! <laughs> but it's fun shouting with everyone else! There has to be a hole in this testimony somewhere. Who are fun of me for a super chat, by the way. I still want to donate a bit before the stream ends, though. That's so weird that it happens. I'm glad they're at least refunding you, though. But yeah, it does seem like it's, I don't know, some issue with Google. I hope they fix it. There has to be a hole in his testimony somewhere. I agree, but do we have the proof to make something stick? All we can do is try. Right, Nick? We gotta have something that will prove useful. I feel like the bottle, but I don't know where to use it at. All right, time to go to work. Okay, can you let it know? Waiting for reunion that night. The fact that I saw Max in the plaza showed up, waiting for five minutes. I said good evening to him, and he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I kind of want to try the bottle, but... Ugh, yeah, it's like it doesn't say anything about their, like, rivalry, though. Hmm. Huh, I don't know, actually. I think I've pressed everything at this point. This kind of... This might be a tougher one for me. I feel like this is not it, but I'm just gonna try it anyways, so I can get it out of my mind. 
Okay, good evening, anyone who acknowledged my presence. I'm feeling a mass salary negotiations. Da -da. Oh, wait. Hmm. This seems like it might be important, actually, too. Huh. We can see his three famous symbols. Is it gonna be different than what he saw? Then I feel like they also were kind of like. Oh, whatever. Let's just try this. Objection! Trilo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? Okay, it actually is. I feel like sometimes. I feel like it's a weird thing with some of these games like this. I feel like sometimes you have to make like extra connections and sometimes you don't. Like, I feel like sometimes it'll like be like, I'll show the broken bottle and then like Phoenix won't say anything. I'll just show the broken bottle. They're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Other times I feel like he explains, you know, what the purpose of it is. A fight. A fight over Regina to be exact. It wasn't that big of a deal. It was an argument, a disagreement at most. A disagreement usually doesn't end up with someone getting clonked over the head. That morning, Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? What? Is that an admission of assault and battery? Oh god! Before we handle that, we should wrap up the defendant's murder charge for us. I'm kinda of surprised she whipped him for that. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that was kind of against our client. Thank you, Dragon Nugget. It worked this time. Let's see if it works now. Super chat, jump scare. I <laughs> so cute the little ghost. I never even seen that emote before. That's cute. A little winky face ghost. That's adorable. Thank you for the donation, by the way. The truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and the witness had a huge fight. There is absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, just consider the personality of the witness on the stand, for real. He is a dick! There is no way a puppet this lewd would just up and say good evening to his rival. Why even lie about that? I guess so he could like pretend like he saw him or whatever. What are you saying? This witness is lying! That he is trying to frame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene! I- I didn't tell a single lie! Honestly! I just- That's enough from you, Mr. Quist! Mr. Wright! Yes, your honor. Let's clarify this testimony for the court. Could you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He saw a different person. Da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. It's time to save, cause I don't really know. Ba -da. He did. He saw the defendant. I think he saw a different person. I think he saw somebody dressed up as a defendant. That's what my guess is. It's so my belief that the witness didn't see, did see somebody that night. It was just someone else. That's who he said good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. I'm probably gonna jinx myself by saying this, but I don't think I've lost a single point yet this trial. Or this whole chapter so far. <laughs> okay. Okay, Weeby Epic Gamer, actual first try so far. I mean, I guess we are still pretty early into the case, but still, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. Maybe I'm finally getting used to these games, but knock on wood, I probably jinxed myself by saying this. Okay. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If he had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there's only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. That is why Trillo made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Was he like, hey, it's kind of weird that they're dressed like Max, but whatever. <laughs> or good evening, as he put it. Ah, uh, what in the world, you? Will the defense kindly explain who it was Trillo saw that evening? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> I totally jinxed it. I'm definitely gonna get this wrong. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> they definitely saw someone. Someone. Would he be wearing the jacket? So he gave Russell the jacket because he thought he would be cold, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Take that. Take that. Considering the ill temper of the witness, there's only one person he would greet. Okay. <laughs> Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. 
Oh yeah, I suppose you've got a point there. Okay, it actually was him. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, was it not? Okay, I actually did get it. I'm just gonna skip some of those lines too. I don't want to see the judge being a creep. I am over it. You're correct, it was indeed Russell Berry. The person you saw that evening was the victim. Hey, I'm still going, I'm still going. I thought for sure, I thought for sure that um, I was gonna get that wrong. That's why you greeted him, Trillo, isn't that correct? Gulp! Answer the question, Mr. Quist. I always hated the judge. Now I just have more reason to hate him. <laughs> always felt like I hated him, but I didn't have a good enough reason. And now I do have a good reason. <laughs> order, order, how do you respond to this? He's, he's always kind of a, like a jerk to us anyways. Wait a second! Well, at first I thought I was the old man. But, but once I got a better look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. Man, these witnesses, bro, they always change in their, always change in their stories. You know, it's high time we clear the air about this question. Mr. Quist obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the plaza that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Was it the ringmaster? One Mr. Ew, excuse me. Mr. Russell Berry. The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. Not my judge. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not my judge. Old man phobia justified. I'm telling y'all, dude. I'm telling you how many times have I been right? I've, I think it honestly has been like my hatred towards old people. <laughs> my old man phobia. I don't hate old people. I just, you know, it's just a lot of old people in these games are evil and they're messed up. So, you know, it's like I, I think I think I've been right more times than I've been wrong. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. The three symbols. All right, this is getting old. You gotta remember them by now. Here we go again, everyone all together now. Ow! Like, thank you. Thank you, I was like, please don't do this again. I'm, I'm over it. Yes, we know, the silk has the cloak and the white roses. This is why I love you, Von Karma. Objection! A silk hat and a cloak. Anyone can wear them. They look, they'd even look good on me. What was that? Well, the witness has endlessly repeat, repeated what he saw, that he saw Max's three symbols. However, how do we really know it was Max, Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Possibly even Russell Berry. What? <laughs> Miss Von Karma. Do you have clear evidence that the person the witness saw was the defendant? Well, I... If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes, I think we finally won a point in this one. Ah, that is very unfortunate. <laughs> what about raincoat or process? I said I, I'm not right every time, just most times. <laughs> My old man phobia is just right most times. What about what about judge? What about all the other evil old men? Okay, raincoat was not raincoat, but process elimination was pretty bad. That was a pretty bad one. I guess raincoat too. <laughs> but most of the, I think there's been quite a few times. Quite a few times I've been right. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix, right? What do you mean by that? You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your efforts, but. But? Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. Okay, we got another one. Huh? Is it, uh, Mo? Please, Mo. Please. I need some help. I think, I think it would have to be either Mo or Regina. So I think either way we're good. Your Honor, the prosecution will provide it beyond a shadow of a doubt. An answer to the question and the evidence that clearly establishes one thing. Right, Mo. There is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. Very well. Me How is Mishima only 30? Dear God. He looks like he's 80. Very well. The car will take t a 10 minute recess. Okay, well, Mishima's, okay, Mishima's good too. During that time, I request the prosecution prepare their next witness. Court is now in recess. Okay. To be continued. Should we stop here? I was kind of unsure. I was thinking about going through the rest of this, but I guess y'all can uh, let me know how much more we have um, in the trial and kind of go from there. I don't think I mind going a little bit more 
But I guess it depends on how much longer we go to. If it's like an hour, I think I'm cool with that. If it's like two or three, then that might be a little much. How is Mishima 30? How? <laughs> how is he 30? That is so wild, dude. That is so crazy. That is so, so crazy. I feel like the only bad thing about like, I don't know, I kind of like to do the trials in one go just cause like, I feel like I keep my uh, memory of like all the evidence and stuff, like kind of more fresh in my mind. I think I'm cool with continuing. If it gets too long, I'll just stop. Or if I get like hungry or something, but I think I'm okay right now. I think my protein shake helps me with that. I ate a lot of food yesterday. I went to like a birthday party, so <laughs> I might still be full from that. <clears throat> Get this done fast so we can be free of it. That was kind of honestly my thought process too. I was like, okay, if I do, I like, I think there's two trials. If I do investigation trial in one stream, then investigation trial in the next one, then we'll be done with this case in like two, like two weeks. And that'll be a little bit easier <laughs> to make it maybe go by a little bit easier. Sweetie, you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near the crime scene. So then where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? Yeah, he doesn't have, oh, literally, yeah, all that stuff is like right next to Max, or uh, Russell, I mean, so he could have just taken it. I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, was the ring, oh, while you were there, was the ringmaster who left, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly, he told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster head to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Okay, which means... It means the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max, yeah. But why? Fabulous! That's a fabulously possible possibility. So weird. I guess, like... I guess whatever the pepper he was transporting, he wanted to frame that on Max for some reason. Eh. The next cross-examination might be painful. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, well, well done, Nick. However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Um, if you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. True. What happened to the other ones? What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double, hum. Well, Max, I never thought about that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I was never quite sure what to be when I grew up. <laughs> Magician or president? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. December 29th, 12.06 p.m. The next bit of the trial is extremely long. Is it because it's painful or because it's, um, <laughs> or because it's actually long? I guess we'll see. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quickly, actually, and take a quick break. I guess, I don't know if I have any plushies set up. Y'all can just hang out with the chair, I guess. <gasps> actually, I don't know why, but I got so back here. Or not, is it not, wait, is it so or is it? Oh, no, no, it's, wait. No, no, it's the other guy. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess technically, if you want to get technical, but he's here. I don't know if I could put him on the chair or something, maybe, for y'all. Just a look. <laughs> yeah, save a lot. Oh, dang. Thank you, Monix. Hashtag Max is over party. He is over. He's been over for as long as I can remember, too. But yeah, I'll be uh, right back. I will uh, just kind of go to the bathroom really quickly. And I'll see you guys afterwards. Let me, um... Let me set him up. What if I put you in the little strap here, huh? Well, <laughs> it looks kind of awkward. <laughs> it's like dull to the side. Whoa, Midori, nice. <laughs> it looks so good.
Okay, I'm back. You know, funnily enough, this game is kind of making me miss uh, Midori too. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? <laughs> okay, I guess we can go ahead and start this up again. And get to some more cringe! <laughs> Putting it lightly. <laughs> now that everyone's back, let's get started! The court is now back in session. Miss Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well, I will now call my next witness. A oh, thank God, it's Mo. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Well, uh, Mr. Lawrence Curls, please take the stand. Why did she have to call him a pitiful clown? Aww, he's so cute. <laughs> uh, we love you, Mo. The witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. Uh, uh, I don't like her, she's mean. Uh, oh no! It was Clownland! What was it? Say Clownland? I'm from Clownland. <laughs> name and occupation. Will the witness please inform the court why he's speaking autobiographical gibberish? Thank God it's Mo. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, please don't tell me it don't tell me that Mo is gonna go bad on me. Oh, I'm uh sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited for this kind of occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. In West Clown In West Clownadelphia, born and raised in the playground where I spent most of my days. Since it's easy to see your occupation occupation. Please state your name for the court. Oh yeah, maybe this joke is okay. Mom, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, and no service. <laughs> wow, that was good. I actually I at least got that one this time, so it's an improvement, I guess. Okay, okay, how about this? Have you met my proctologist, Dr. Seymour Bites? Uh, how was that one? Ah, uh, poor Mo. <laughs> but a couple of clowns. Of Wait, he's actually. Was, what is he actually singing? This? But a couple of clowns, two reps are no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, man, I love that show. That was such a good show. Your name. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm dead. <laughs> oh god, I thought that was just a meme in the chat. <laughs> in West Philadelphia, born ways. <laughs> Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. You witnessed this scene that's around 10 15 p.m., the day of the murder. Oh, we be don't worry, it's painful in a blue badger way, not a creepy way. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I missed blue badger. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, it is. I liked that joke, Mo. See, he made me laugh once, okay? There was a good joke. Well then, Mr. Girls, will you please testify to what you saw that evening? A rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafarian walked into the- Without the humor, please! Okay. <laughs> poor Mo. Oh, poor Mo. Can't be his normal stoogy self in the court. This is so sad. Witness testimony. What you witnessed. I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't been able to make people laugh for 10 years. You made me laugh with a Clownadelphia thing. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and polite applause. Nobody even applauds you here though, buddy. So it's like you didn't even get that. It's okay. It's okay, bestie. This is whatever laughs at my jokes. I've taken a laughing at them myself. Oh, that's so sad. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. At least somebody's laughing. Imagine my, oh, save? Okay. Okay, so everybody's saying to save. Okay. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless. This cross-examination is difficult? Oh, yikes. But I keep trying. I even try to come up with jokes just for today. You guys don't know, I'm on a different level tonight. My brain, it's so, so smart and wrinkly right now. I used to be a Roha, but now I'm Kiri Giri. I'm ready to solve this confrontation. Cross-examination in one go. Just like last. <laughs> I'm ready to guess my way. This cross-examination is just a therapy session. <laughs> I'm dead. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try to make everyone laugh. Seriously, everyone, what do you think of me? How am I doing? <laughs> okay, this really does kind of feel like a therapy session. Um, um, aren't we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? 
Witness. Uh, he's so sad. He's so pitiful. We will listen to your call for help after the court's proceedings are over. Thus, please stick to the facts of this case. It literally punishes you for no reason? Yikes. Really? You really? You'll really hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be a straight man later. Thank you, thank you, I can't wait! <laughs> Bored. Oh yeah, it's definitely Gumshoe! <laughs> he already knows. Well, now that's how, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we can. I'll talk for as long as you want. Okay, was that really the testimony? What you witnessed? The night of the murder, after the practice over. Okay, that wasn't. I was like, was that real? That we're about to give him a therapy session. I went straight back to my room. You have no idea how tired I was. I was pooped. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That was when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. That's very interesting. If this eyewitness account is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. <laughs> of course you can! Let's not even hear what Phoenix has to say. There is no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, how do you say, <laughs> crazy. Almost like he has, almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. Uh -huh. That must be because of my insincere smile. Mr. Ride, please. <laughs> Begin the defense's cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Nick, you've got to find some kind of contradiction in his testimony. I know that. Mr. Wright, your honor, I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far... Oh. So that's what y'all meant. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't blue badger him. It would bring disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to engage in... Pointless saber rattling. I understand, Your Honor. If you cause this clown to stray from facts, oh, god dang it! So that's what y'all. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get punished. I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not one with the corn. I'm not the one with the corny jokes. Okay, now I'm starting to see what y'all mean. <laughs> what you witnessed? Okay, let me um go ahead and save here. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get punished here. There ain't no way. Unless I just get crazy, crazy, um... Can I not press? I could probably press a little bit, though, right? I have no idea how tired it was. I was pooped. That's probably not important. I feel like sometimes it's like the ones you think is, like, not important, though it is important. They'll be like, when you say pooped, how do you mean poop? And that somehow that will be, like, the actual thing you need to press. I thought I'd go straight to sleep before I did a glance at the windows, and I saw two silhouettes there. A bit far away, though. I feel like this... Well, I'm gonna press this one. We're gonna try it. Far away, you say. If you had to say exactly, how far away were they? Let me think about that for a second. I hear Peanut. Oh my goodness, Peanut, you wanna come say hi? Oh my goodness! Mommy about to get punished a bunch. <laughs> Mommy about to lose a bunch of health in Ace Attorney. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Uh, if my room is here, and they looked about yay big, I'd say they're about 30 feet from my window. Just 30 feet, that's not far at all. It was snowing that night, and I cut down on visibility. I see, please continue with your testimony regarding the two shadows you saw. Okay. So far, so good! So far, so good! You gave me luck, Peanut. You gave me some luck, Peanut. Thank you. Thank you, you're my little lucky charm. Oh my goodness. Peanut. I know, Mom loud when she plays video games, huh, Peanut? <laughs> oh my goodness. It was a remaster and he was with Max. And he was with Max who was wearing the cloak. I kept watching them and all of a sudden Matt clonked a remaster over the head. Okay. I'm gonna save stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Cause that one actually seemed okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I feel like this one might be important. We'll see. You say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head. Yeah, I did. It was the climax of my story. You see what with? He really does enjoy the completely random non sequitur Sequit? I've never heard that word. Would you say- what would you say the victim was struck with? You mean the weapon? I have no idea. A weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. <laughs> you did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, I, um, yeah, I suppose I did. Wait, no I didn't! I didn't see a weapon! 
Mo, did you or did you not see the crime of the murder committed that night? Objection. Oh god, here she comes. I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You'd better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. What? What? Oh my god. No, you guys need to see. Ah! The half my health? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I thought that was pretty, like, decent. I'm gonna put my thing right here so y'all can see the health, too. Jesus Christ. Gulp. Isn't this a bit melodramatic? Oh, what will you do then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Do you have any clear basis? To believe my witness did not see... <laughs> do you have any clear basis to believe my witness did not see the crime? Uh, uh-huh. So, it happened, like, right here, right? It wasn't actually that far, so I don't know if we actually do, um, have any good, um... <laughs> I don't know if we actually do have any good proof that he didn't see the crime. Oh my god. Time of death, blunt force trauma... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh... I kind of want to do the map, but I don't think that makes sense. Oh god, I don't know. I don't think she's gonna do that. <laughs> Is Mo blind legally? <laughs> can I, can I put that in? A pleasant stooge of a clown. Nar. Okay, I don't know if I do. I might just go. I don't. I don't have anything. <laughs> well, see right now. I have a clear basis to be thinking that then this is just another one of your pointless efforts to badger the wide wit what the fu- no are you serious wait a second miss Va I, 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 I thought that would protect me wait a second miss von karma this time i do not feel the need to treat mr right so harsh <laughs> but next time <up> <laughs> that's right what he said bailed out by the judge what an honor indeed we must penalize <sighs> We must penalize Mr. Wright for his display. I think a verbal consensure would be good. You know the rules, Mr. Wright. There's no room for baseless hounding and- Okay. Fuck off. I'm gonna- I'm loading that. I'm loading that again! Let me see if it- I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think this is anything. I probably will, just eventually. Of course I have grounds to make this <laughs> Then let's hit it! That's something I can't share with you at this time. Oh, really? Okay, cool. I didn't know you were gonna weasel your way out of this, dude. I would have chosen that for sure. What did you just say, Mr. Wright? I know there's something wrong with this testimony, but I can't put why I feel this way into words for the judge. Maybe we should get a bit more information. Once we find something more solid, we can give it another shot. Yeah, you're right. Mr. Wright... <laughs> you know that you must be... Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! Have yikes, that's harsh. You know, most testimony and what he told us yesterday are kind of different. Yeah, I noticed. We gotta pinpoint what's changed. You can do it, Nick. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I should load the other one. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, do you have any believe? Any clear base believe that my witness did not see the crime? Of course I don't. Not yet! Okay. Let's just get the small punishment. Oh my god. Okay. At least it's just a little one. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Because it didn't really bail me out after all. You know, most testimony, when you told us yesterday, are kind of different. Oh, she says the same thing here. Yeah, I noticed. We just got to pinpoint what's changed. You can do it, Nick. Okay, I'm going to have to press him and just keep saving. Went straight back to my room. You have no idea how bad I was pooped. Straight to sleep before I did a glance out the window. That's when I saw the two silhouettes. They're a bit far though. The remaster and the one with Mac wearing cloak. I'm watching them. I think, um, maybe this one? <laughs> Jesus, this is so difficult. Okay. I'm just gonna have to press and, like, save scum. There's no other way. You'd say you clearly saw this, even though you were, by your own admission, far away. That's right. I had been thinking about it over and over since that night. Was that peanut, you sad boy? You sad? Could you not get enough attention? There you go. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, little guy. Oh my goodness. That's right, I've been thinking about it over and over since that night. But things didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor, Miss Von- <laughs> Oh my god! Until Miss Von Karma told me what to say in court. But now I am 100% certain that she gaslighted me, as she should. What a girl boss. 100% certain that it was Max the Reed Master. I saw that night. Just think about it, how could I be wrong if Max is always wearing his uppity symbols? Uppity symbols. Lawyers nowadays. Do you even have to go to school anymore to be one? Alright, everyone knows what to do. Say it now. Say it with Uncle Mo. <laughs> Damn, poor Uncle Mo. <coughs> Angie, see what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to get along with me. Come on, Maya. You could at least chip in, right? You sing along with the puppet. I must really be utterly and completely worthless as a clown. Uh, Yowza! Enough foolishness! Get back on track! Or the witness please testify as to what he saw and only what he saw! Okay. Kept watching them. Um, who was wearing his cloak? I think it's this thing. Let me. It was literally called his three signature pieces or whatever, right? Oh wow, his pants and shoes are connected. That's crazy. K Pat flowers. I mean, like, it looks to be the right thing, though, so that's kind of why I'm like. And bla blazoned with his three major famous symbols. Okay. I don't know. I might press something else just in case. Yeah, I was like, how did Trillo get freaking people to sing along with him, but not. Not Mo. Thought I'd go straight to sleep before I did. I glanced out the window. This doesn't seem like anything, but sure. <laughs> I'll try it. I'm sure Francis is gonna beat the crap out of me for this. You just happen to glance out the window. You could say that. You could say I also peeked, stared, glimpsed, peeped, eyeballed. Mr. Curls! Oh, I guess synonyms aren't allowed either. <laughs> what should I do? I wonder if I should press him further on this issue. Oh my goodness, Peanut. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Dragon Nugget. This case is so unserious, I can't, I know. It really is. <laughs> thank you for the donation, I appreciate you. We're gonna keep pressing. <laughs> Even though I might lose half my health. Exactly why did you look out your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? Um, that's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday... Once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. It sounded like a giant thump. Okay, so that one means he wouldn't actually have seen the crime itself. He would have just seen like, um, whatchamacallit. Um, like he would have just seen them like standing. But now he's trying to make it seem like he actually saw the crime take place. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you forgot? Your Honor, the witness looked out his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that thump, didn't I? Uh, owie owie! That's not something you forget to mention! Um, yeah, what she said. I believe it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. Yes! Okay, we got something to work with now. Um... Very well, Mr. Curls. Please revive your te revise your testimony. Let's just start turning the tables in our favor. Okay, nice. Heard a huge noise outside the window, and that's what made me look outside. We're gonna bla bladger B blue badger him again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear Peanut, but he's such a <laughs> he's such a gross little boy. Oh my goodness. Whenever he gets bored, he'll like just play in his litter box sometimes. <laughs> you just like, hear him digging in there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Vina. You know, you know a bunch of people can hear that, huh, little guy? You know, you know that? He doesn't know that. He's just a little guy. Heard a huge noise outside. <laughs> Hold it! What was the sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like, hmm, I guess you could say, Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. Nope! How'd you know I was gonna make a joke? I guess that the sound sounded like a... I suppose it sounded like someone getting hit with something very hard. Yep, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Someone getting hit, huh? What then? You went to look out the window and you saw. That's when I saw the two silhouettes. They were far away, though. It was the ringmaster and Max who's running the cloak. Kept watching them. 
Plonk the ringmaster over the head. This is like so, I mean, we don't know, I guess, if there was like, over the head. I guess we don't totally know if he was hit twice or not. I don't know if there's anything that really contradicts that. Let's see. Oh, I watched Jay's playthrough of this and he skipped a lot of it. Oh, interesting. You know, most testimony, what he told us yesterday are kind of different. I don't know what's changed. You can do it, Nick. Hmm. I wonder if you're practicing in my room. You have to know ideas. Poops, huge noise. One day, that's what I made. So maybe take a look outside. I can't tell. Is like I might be able to do it? But I might not. I'm not really sure. So... Wait, what channel is Jay? What did he do for this? I'm kind of curious. Or what did they do? Yeah, he says, says he. What did he uh, do for this? Did he just watch the anime? I'm kind of curious. Because I didn't actually see people saying that, but I was like, surely it can't be that bad. <laughs> surely. Uh, so, so innocent back then. Blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Monkey gathers shiny things. Floor. I don't feel like any of this is like the crime scene. Should I just press more? I don't know, though. And I feel like that's it, but I don't really know what to do for it. Let's do it. We're far away, though. It was the ringmaster who was wearing his cloak. And he was with Max who was wearing his cloak. Did I do this one yet? I don't think so. I can't remember. You said you clearly saw this, even though you were a mission. Oh, no. Actually, I already did this one. Cub Scouts, and he skipped the second half of the case because he hated it. Damn. <laughs> you have no idea how tired I was. I was pooped. I heard a huge noise outside. I don't feel like this is. I'm just going to press this just in case. Yeah, I was like, that was when I was wearing too. I was like, it was Jay from Cub Scouts? I was like, I didn't know he played this. You say that practice route of about 10, correct? See, that's the thing. Huh? How exactly am I supposed to make a joke about 10? Now, 8 o'clock. That's something a clown can rip off, rip off of. Let's just pretend that it was 8 o'clock. That way I can make a great joke. <laughs> let's not. <laughs> let's not make it 8 anymore. I mo. What do you mean, let's not? Don't take the clown out of the clown and around. Come on, Nick. Just listen to his joke. There are three reasons why I don't want to. Prob one, I probably won't laugh. Two, I'll get hit with a penalty. Three, I'll get whipped. <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't this... Will the witness just proceed with his factual testimony? You are so boring. I'm gonna lose like half my health, girl, if I do that. Okay, let's try this. I don't think, uh... You were pooped that night. And we played the series before he played Danganronpa. Oh, that's interesting. I had no idea he played this. Yeah, I was very tired. Not to mention I had some bad Mexican food. What? The double cheese double bean enchilada is a dangerous menu item. What happened after that, they say, it happens. <laughs> that one was cool, huh? I hear the kids really love toilet humor these days. That joke was so hip. I don't want to ruin it with a reply. Oh, God. I have good... <laughs> it... <laughs> joke was funny, but it earned you a penalty. God dang it. Can y'all leave me alone, dude? Okay, I think I'm supposed to just... um. Okay, I heard a huge noise. Fuck it, we're gonna do this one. Objection. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It's generic, so it's not a. <laughs> not gonna do that. Okay. Trail translucent. Made order hot. That's what got me to look outside. Let me do. That's what I saw. They're a bit far away. The ringmaster was wearing his cloak. Clonked. Okay, I'm gonna try this one actually too. I feel like anytime you actually, um, I don't know, get like a new statement, it's always gonna be that one that you're supposed to like object against. You know what I mean? I don't know what to object against that. Statement contradicts this evidence. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Really? God, objection denied. Think before you make accusations. Okay, I just want to see if it was funny at least. But it wasn't. It's just sad. Murder after practice over. Went straight to my room. I was pooped. Who wants to me look outside? I feel like it's gotta be this though, right? Does he? 
Is there like a profile? Old friend, present, pleasant stooge. Remaster. Why are you crying, Peanut? You don't like this case either? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if y'all can hear him or not. I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> I have no clue. I have no freaking clue. That's what made me take a look outside. The map? <laughs> Objection. <laughs> I might need y'all's help with this one. I might at least need like a hint. Just like, am I close? Is this the actual thing that I <laughs> refute? I don't know. I don't even know if this is the actual thing I. I don't even know if this is the actual line that I refute. I saw silhouettes far away. It was Ringmaster Max who was wearing his cloak. I need a hint. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> I have no clue. Okay. I feel like it is this one, just cause like it's always gotta be these, right? We. I'm not cooking, but thank you, Monix. I appreciate ya. I appreciate ya. Yeah. Any any hints are appreciated at this point in time. But what if it was the monkey? Okay, I was like, for a second I thought it actually was. Okay. For a second I didn't see the red highlight. So I was like, maybe, maybe so. Picture of the crime scene, why not? Oh my God. This is the witness testimony that never ends. I feel like nobody in the chat even knows either. <laughs> oh my god, found at the crime scene. What the a thing? Press the statement you pressed first examination. Just look, was it this one? Okay, let me save again. The kitchen is on fire. Okay, I think it was this one. You say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head. Yeah, I did. It's the climax of my story. He really does enjoy the completely random non sequitur. What would you say the victim was struck with? Yeah, I was like, I didn't even see it. I feel like it would have to be this one, because yeah, it's like, it's the fact that like, you didn't even see it happen. You mean the weapon? I have no idea. The weapon wasn't found at the murder scene, right? That's not what I meant. Oh, third statement? My bad. Should I reload then? I thought it would be this one though. This is all the same. Objection. Let me, okay, somebody said the third statement. Let me try that one. Okay, one, two, three. This one, I thought I already did this one. What was the sound like? Well, I guess it sounds like you'd say here's a necessary make a joke. Sounded like a no, I already did this one too. Okay. No, I already did that one. I think it's the last one. I might have something to present now? I don't know, yeah. Kind of murder, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna present something to Francesca. Oh god dang it. <laughs> god dang it! I keep cycling through. He was wearing his cloak, kept watching. Okay. Press this one and try to get, uh, try to get there. Was he struck with weapon? No idea. Blah, blah, blah. Saw everything. Well, I guess I suppose I did. Didn't see a weapon. Ha, <laughs> ha, Mo. That's the crime of objection. I will not permit you to harass my witness in this manner. You better have excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown, because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. Okay, and yeah, I think I probably have to do this one. Okay. Okay, let's see. Nice mental tea. Isn't it a bit melodramatic? What will it be, Mr. Phoenix, right? 
Okay. I think I actually do now. I kind of forgot about this part. Man, this is why I never need to go out of order. I think that always confuses me. I think that was the issue I had with the last game, too. Sometimes I would go out of order with pressing the statements, and then it gets confusing, because I feel like sometimes, most of the time it's like you find something earlier in the statement that contradicts something later. I got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you'll be telling us all about that great reason. <laughs> I don't care that I saved, like, uh, two seconds ago. Of course I will, because I usually don't go out of order unless... Besides the circumstance of like having to get punished for like pressing too much. Of course I will. The reason is the witness's very own testimony. What is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Mo said that he heard a sound like a thump of someone getting hit. Um, yes, he did say that. However, Mo just stated the following under oath. I kept watching them and all of a sudden Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. I feel like she just gaslighted him into believing he saw that. If Mo is to be believed when he says, he looked out the window upon hearing a sound. There is no way he could have seen Max clonk anyone. In 1972, Crack Clown- what, what was that? <laughs> Crack Clown prison unit? Well, what was that referencing? Mr. Curls, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't commit. These clowns probably escaped from a maximum security cr clown car. Oh my god. Curls, are you reciting the C-Team theme to anger the court? C-Team? No, 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 I'm just stalling for time while I jog my memory. Great job, Nick! These types of witnesses always seem to have a s These types of witnesses always seem to have a selective memory. You just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. It's just like an onion. You see, clowns are like onions. Well, um... Ah, uh, you're back from your jog! Well... It pretty much happened the way I said. I don't know if I've seen A-Team. Pretty much. Well, I looked out my window that night. The ringmaster was already face down in the snow. The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps of my statement. Von Karma! <laughs> of course! Tampering with the witness again! Shocker! Shocking. So now you are saying that you did not see the defendant clonk the ringmaster. Uh, yes. When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Checked out? Yep, he was on permanent vacation, as they say. <laughs> Jesus. Not a funny joke, dude. Get it? Because he's dead. Girls! Your Honor. You did not witness the actual crime. However, you did still say you saw the criminal, correct? Yes, exactly. The ringmaster was slumped over, and I saw someone silhouette, silhouette next to him. Okay. Very well, then please testify to the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth! And if I even catch a hint of a joke from you, I will put you in a holding cell until you learn court etiquette. God, it's like, you know, lying at the witness stand, we don't care about that, but saying jokes, I will have you imprisoned immediately. Got it. Poor Mo. ATM is the 80s. Yeah, I hadn't heard of that before. It was a bit far away, but the shadow could only have belonged to Max. There's no doubting it, especially since I saw him, saw his uppity symbols. Okay, this has got to be his, uh, silk thing. Silk hat, the black coat. They were all there. Oh, uh, is it black? I don't think it's actually black, is it? It's purple! I knew it! His face was silhouetted, but there was no doubt that it was him. His cloak was fluttering in the wind. I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Okay, let me try that. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It took the clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever, this should finally be good enough, yes? Uh, anything's good enough for me, I got no brain. Was Max really at the crime scene that night? He says he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. No, we don't. <laughs> All right, Mr. Wright, commit your cross-examination. Okay, I think it's that one. I'm kind of curious. I feel like I probably have to press, though, before I can present it, but... It's a bit far away, but the shadow could only have belonged to Max. I just feel like it might be like, well, dark purple, that's close enough. Black coat. That coat is not black, bro. You are Delulu! Objection! You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so. The silk hat and the cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Oh, is it just because he left out the flowers? But the coat, the coat isn't black. <laughs> three symbols? Yay, everyone get ready all together now. Silk hat, cloak, white roses. 
What the? Who cares if he knew that there were not there were three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Uh, uh, uh. Isn't that right, Mo? Uh, 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 do you like pile up pile? <laughs> Silence, fool! You are to respond with the whole truth, no fractions. Order, order. Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. Okay. Objection! Objection! How dare you! The crime scene was dark! You don't know what you saw, Mo! She's such a girl, boss. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. Objection! But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way you're gonna miss them. Objection! Then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Get her! Even though I love her still. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly materi material to the facts of this case? Clearly not. He's just toying with this court. Ugh. I got her on the ropes now. These seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth yet. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three symbols! How could you make someone with that crazy getup and his high nose stuck up so high? You can mistake someone with the three-piece getup! Trillo saw all- saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. Oh yeah, that's kind of weird another thing about it. Because I still was assuming they just saw the same guy. However, this witness claims there's no white roses on the person he saw. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Um, now that I'm... What am I supposed to think? One is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this... Judge, forget the roses! Think about this other, his other testimony! The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters! Please wrap this case up now! Oh, you're... You are starting to shake, girl! What's the matter? Are you getting nervous? Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Um, frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. Uh, I'm not uh, mature. Let me move my carrot out of the way. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which means that for my peace of mind... I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? There are no contradictions in this next statement. I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance. Okay. The silhouette, part two. Let's see. There's no doubt in my mind there was no white roses that night. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that, especially the silk hat. There was no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing the entire wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. Probably need to see like the differences between the hats or whatever. I do like this part of the trial. This is definitely a lot less painful. <laughs> Just talking about the actual murder and not that other creepy stuff. Just one chance. Oh really? I will not allow even the slightest hint of what? Are you kidding me? That's my thing! I blew badger the witness! That's that's literally my stick! I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness! If you're going to prove there's a contradiction with Mr. Curl's statement, you'd better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusations. I've only got a single shot of this, I gotta be careful. I understand, Your Honor. All just one chance is all I'll need. The silhouette part two. Oh man, I was gonna press him on the hat and see if there was a difference. And what the hat looks like. There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. Let me save again, even though I saved like two seconds ago. Okay. However, all the other symbols were there, I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat, there's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. Let me see, I'm gonna try to press first, if he gets mad then I'll... No, be honest. Oh! Ow! You promised, Mr. Phoenix, right? No more badgering! I hope you enjoy- God, I really can't- Oh my god, I really cannot badger at all? Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> okay, there are no right roses. However, still cat, there's no way I would ever forget that. 
Cut though, but it's probably not it. No. No. <laughs> and no. Okay. No white roses. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. Oh, wait. Is it this one? Picture of the crime scene. It was just found at the crime scene, so it fell off at some point, right? Okay, that's what it was. Okay, cool. This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Uh, yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No questions in your mind? Exactly. How would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma? Where exactly was the silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The c crime scene? That means he did not have it on the whole time. It fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly c testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. First try. Yeah, you did it. First try. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Close enough. Second try, you know. Order, 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 Mr. Curls. Yes, Your Honor. What is the meaning of all of this? You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That is so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Uh-uh. What? Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess. You just don't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you're sitting above me? No matter how old I can always be younger than you. <laughs> I think you might need therapy, Mo. I think that might be what you need. Um... <laughs> Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curl! Who do you think you are? I saw him! I swear I saw him! It was Max! Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat! I'm telling the truth! He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat! He was there! He left the scene. Let's see. So somebody say to save again. What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo? What do you want? He just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? Yeah, the footprints. What? He, um, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that! Objection! Objection! Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness. Okay, girl, you always say that. I'm just asking questions, trying to get the truth. Your Honor. This witness's testimony is full of holes, Miss Von Karma. Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. Good. You got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that all right with you, little guy? <laughs> little guy. <laughs> Is that okay with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer is obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you to say. You sure that's how that happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Okay, I think I know this one, but I already saved it. I think it's okay. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter this story? Crime photo, yeah. They were like, kind of bad bring on that earlier, so. Definitely do think it's this one. Take that! Take that! God, this case is so like, brutal to you. <laughs> if you mess up. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, there are- where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Ay ay ay! Mamma mia! So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the crime? Bro, you are looking so sus now. <laughs> it kind of sort of looked like you made just- you just made up this whole testimony and you did it. Um, he, uh... Your Honor, this witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is, a, is as rickety as the clown car he came to court in. 
Wait just a second! Oh, yikes. You guys... Oh my god, this little hat's mad too. You guys can't just ignore everything I've said. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the tr <laughs> The truth this time, after I've lied like ten times. Look at this graph. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Do you like that in this game sometimes? You wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. <laughs> that didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time. I swear, how somehow I dealt that. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse before they get better. <laughs> we'll save again, just in case. Mr. Lawrence Curls! Yes? The testimony you've provided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. I just, like, didn't tell the truth, really. <laughs> it's just what? I just was a bit confused. On the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, what is he talking about? The guy would never do that. I will have orders. She should have her or her prosecutor badge like revoked. Francisca, how could you? <laughs> Even though you did this in the last trial and every other trial before that, you're honored. If you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. You just say like too many jokes. What she's gonna say? You have two hours and 15 minutes of this case left? Are you serious? <laughs> I was like, are you serious? I'm a firm believer in the Mo Shobai voice. Should I change his voice? I kind of did give him Mitch voice. I didn't really mean to. I can always try it. I just like Gumshoe already kind of has the Shobai voice. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say. You saw Mr. Girls. Uh, you're not gonna believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Really, two hours? But we still got another case and investigation, or trial investigation. Do not have to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. In his testimony, the truth. Now it's time for our next segment, Mo Knows. Everything I've said up till now has been the truth. No, it hasn't. <laughs> no, it hasn't. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down, and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw. He... <laughs> he fucking flew! <laughs> this is the truth, now get ready for it! He flew, he jumped and flew through the air! <laughs> he flew right off, the, off and disappeared into the darkness! Oh my god. That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints! Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that's crazy, only two hours left, dang. You get this case almost done in just like one trial. I told you it wasn't funny, do believe me now. I guess the next trial is really short. Um, um, well, that was, um, how do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of a crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why would you believe me, especially since it's the best part of the story? That's the climax. And to be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? Uh, his eyes are playing tricks. It's all a dream, right? I have no clue. Probably his eyes are playing tricks or something, though, if I had to guess for my first guess. I think he could be telling the truth. I kind of want to defend Mo a little bit. Let's believe him. What he said just now was so strange, I don't think he would have made it up. Which means he's telling the truth? That's what I think. Nick, wait! That means Max actually used magic! Yikes, you're right. Uh, ow! Only a foolish, foolish looking fool can be fooled by such foolish fools, foolish dream! Don't be ridiculous, magic does not exist. I suppose I will let you all- oh god. <laughs> Are we at the conviction? I suppose I should let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile! If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Okay, so here we are. 
and the investigation again. Ugh. That's how I'll conclude today's proceedings at this point. It is an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, yeah. Good. I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned! Okay. <laughs> so we got through this part at least. Yay. I might go ahead and pause it here then. And we can just kind of listen to them talk and stuff next time. Wait, let me... Hey, sweeties. What in the world is going on? Okay, I think I'm cool with saving here. God, we've already almost been playing for five hours. That's crazy. I can't believe that, dude. Well, we're almost finished with it, uh, allegedly. <laughs> Since people are saying that, uh... There's only like two more hours or something, so that's cool. We'll actually get to start in the next case after, uh, in the next, um, let's play, or the next stream. So that'll be good. I think we're past the bad part, too, from what it seems like, at least. Because I don't think, I don't dislike the mystery for this. I just disliked the whole Regina part that was so, like, creepy and uncomfortable. So yeah, I think this is probably a good stopping point. Um, I appreciate you guys for sticking with the stream. I know this is not a popular case. So I'm glad, I'm thankful for those of you who decided to stay, <laughs> you know? <laughs> for those of you who decided to stay. So uh, I hope you enjoyed, um, even though, yeah, it definitely was um, interesting. <laughs> I think we still had fun overall together. It's always fun hanging out with you guys in the chat. But yeah, um, I will see you guys next week on Saturday, same time as normal. And... I have a normal video going up uh, on Tuesday, which I'm trying to kind of make my like posting day for the regular week. So yeah, I hope that you guys will uh, enjoy that too. And I'll see you next week. And uh, yeah.